<laughs> okay. Listen. We're building in The Sims with horses today. And I'm really excited, to be honest, like really excited. Although I will say I'm a little bit nervous because I don't really know how to build like a horse, you know, like the track or whatever, but we'll see. <laughs> Long story short, um, we're building with horses today and I'm very excited. <laughs> Sounds like fun for us, but not fun for you. What, The Sims 3? Yeah, arguably, yeah. <laughs> The Sims 3. No, I love The Sims 3. Building in The Sims 3 can be a bit of an ordeal, though. Um, so basically, in my legacy challenge that we've been playing in The Sims 3, we're kind of starting Gen 2, and I wanted to be like a little horse farmer, so I thought we could move back to the house that we had originally. Um, right now I've got Stanley Humphrey here as a test sim, but I thought we could move back to the house that we had originally this lot, and then try and build, like, because it's bigger, and then we could try and build like a little farmhouse and have space for horses or whatever, you know? There'll be like a barn or something. <laughs> okay, also I couldn't get my Spotify to open. It keeps saying the Spotify application is not responding, so I can't play the Sims 2 soundtrack. What am I supposed to do about that? Let me try and like close it in Task Manager and see if that helps. Uh, but I need the Sims 2. <laughs> Can you sing it for us instead? Yeah, that's actually a good idea. No, I closed it in Task Manager, now it's gonna work. It's fine. Ready? The Sims 2. Okay, sorry, I won't. <laughs> There's the Sims 3 Stanley series? No, I did one video with Stanley and the Sims 3, where actually I tried to play with horses, um, but I, I don't have like an actual series. We have a different legacy um, that we've been playing in the Sims 3. Um, let me show you. They live over here, these people, the Swan family, not related to Twilight. Um, they have that dog fish finger, or had that dog fish finger that's dead. <laughs> um, the, what, the people that we've been playing on stream recently with uh, The Sims 3. I just wanted to build not with them because they haven't moved, they haven't aged up yet, so I'm not ready for them to be living here, you know? Go away. Go away. Do you like Sims 3 or Sims 4 Stanley more? Oh my god, Sims 3 Stanley sucks. Look. Sims 3 Stanley's also standing in the snow. It's just not right. There's just something off about it. You know? It feels wrong. So I don't like it. You think it's the eyebrows? Yeah, maybe. He usually wears sunglasses, so that's probably part of it. He looks too human. <laughs> yeah, he's supposed to be a hot dog man, not a man in a hot dog suit. It's just wrong. Just wrong. Anyway, that's my best friend Stanley Humphrey right there, so. <laughs> Freezy, thank you for the $5 to say Jude. Um, Jace, who says Sims 4 could never have horses. I would be so surprised if they ever added horses to The Sims 4. It just feels like such an odd thing. It feels like so out of place in The Sims 4. The Sims 3, um, with the open world and stuff, how you could like, horse around everywhere. It's just different. These days, I can't see it. <laughs> But anyway, you're just watching me on YouTube? Oh, really? Well, hello. <gasps> Sydney, with the $100 donation to St. Jude for your cousin Jacob that was recently diagnosed with thyroid cancer. Sydney, thank you for that huge donation to St. Jude. Um, Cheyenne, too, thank you so much, who says, sending lots of hope for these little souls from Germany. Have a nice day. Cheyenne, thank you so much. Um, so you guys, if maybe you're just tuning in, uh, we've been fundraising for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital for the entire month of May. We, so far, in just a week, have raised $185,000 for St. Jude. Um, we're still going. We're getting close to $200,000. Um, and the other thing is, if you guys were here, or maybe if you saw me go live earlier, I did stream earlier, um, but you didn't miss anything. <laughs> I went live for like 45 minutes, like four hours ago, because tomorrow we're gonna be playing Animal Crossing. We're gonna villager hunt in Animal Crossing. Um, so I had to get a villager kicked off my island. So I was like, if I'm gonna sit here and like open and close Animal Crossing repeatedly, I might as well stream it. So I did. 
But it was, you didn't miss much. It was like, it literally was like half an hour of me just opening and closing Animal Crossing over and over again until somebody left my island. <laughs> um, so it was a short, short stream of, Snap, what are you doing? She's sniffing my Rick Ashley cardboard cutout. If, it, if you see it moving, it's not moving on its own. There is in fact a cat in here. <laughs> um, anyway, um, we streamed for a tiny bit earlier, but not too long, so. Um, <laughs> so I did not imagine the fact that you were live this morning. No, that actually did happen. It's alive! Rick is alive! Oh, look, there she is. Proof of cat. Oh, do you see me? Do you want to come say hi? You can come. Oh, you're on this side. Come here. You want to jump up? We can play The Sims 3 together. Come on. Yay! Okay, we have a guest. <laughs> It's so cute. Every day she jumps on my on my lap and then up onto the desk and then you see her little ears pop up. <laughs> and then she'll sit here and just look at me and then you'll see her ears or perhaps her tail walk back and forth across the desk. <laughs> um, okay, so anyway, we were gonna build... Um, okay, now she's behind my computer. Here we go. We were gonna build um, like a farmhouse, essentially, uh, and then have like a barn in the back for... Um, us to put some- yeah, please don't unplug the PC. <laughs> um, we were gonna- oh, she's back. Okay, we're fine. Uh, we're gonna be like a farmhouse and have space for some horses and things, because my sim is gonna be a horse sim. Malia, thank you for the $150 to St. Jude. Kayla with the $25. Um, uh, uh, also, So Witch with the $5 in honor of your uncle. Thank you, everybody, so much. Um, okay, anyway. The house- the lot is big. <laughs> Um, Gio with a hundred dollars for your mom. Thank you so much, friend. Thanks to you. We are very close to $186,000 raised for St. Jude, by the way. Um, and Sarah, thank you for the dollar as well. Okay, I think, should I record this? I guess I might post it on YouTube, huh? That would be kind of fun. I guess we'll see. We'll see. I might as well record. So, let me explain this. So, we've been playing this Sims 3 Legacy for a few, like, maybe a month or two now. Um, we're starting Gen 2, and, um, my Sim is probably gonna live here with my, uh, he married, or well, he will marry his imaginary friend. I spent a while trying to bring that, you know the little, like, creepy toy in The Sims 3? I spent a while trying to bring it back to life. <laughs> So I got his little imaginary friend toy into a human and they're gonna marry each other and live on a farm with horses Also, we just passed hundred and eighty six thousand dollars for St. Jude um, So that's who's gonna live here. So we'll need to have space for them their parents and then however many kids we want to have I, I bet that maybe four bedrooms would be good um, For this house and then we'll have a lot of focus on like the farm part, you know, um, we have what is she doing? Look, she's like sitting on top of the chair. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? Is she gonna try and get on the shelf? <gasps> no! Oh my god. Snap! Why? It's a fake plant, don't worry if she gets into it. Why are you in like chaos mode right now? Are you gonna jump back down? Okay. <laughs> she wants to be tall, okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, Jeffrey, donate in honor of your late grandpa. Two Sarahs in a row just donated as well. Thank you so much, you guys. That is her shelf now, yeah, seriously. I think she left. She left all the way. Okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever. Chaos mode activated and then quickly ended. <laughs> but yeah, so we have about like 130,000 simoleons to build this house. Um, and I don't really know what I want it to look like yet, so we'll see. Do I want to have a garage? I think I really do want to have a garage. I think I would really like that if we could have a garage. Ugh, auto roof. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Okay, auto roof off. Um, that was scary. <laughs> ah! It's the sound effects of building in The Sims 3 are loud. I don't think I'm gonna do a foundation. I'm gonna have it be off a of foundation like the last house was. Just because I want to have an attached garage. I guess we could- you know what? We could have a detached garage for this little farmhouse. 
So the, the detached garage could be on the first floor. And then we could have, like, a foundation. There's cheats you can do to, to make it so that, um... It's all, like, you know, you can do stuff so you can have, like, foundations attached to non-foundations, but I'm just not trying to bother with that. In, in my, um, recent experience with The Sims 3, I've discovered that I really simply cannot be bothered to deal with, like, the game. You know, how the game is? I just can't. I, like, actually cannot. So, we have to just, like make do with what we have and um be simple in our attempts so <laughs> uh Paul, sarah elena Haley, thank you for the donations to saint jude too is there going to be a barn yeah i think so um i think we'll have a barn and then like an attached house or a, a big house and then like maybe a barn back here for the horses i don't know how close should the house be to the garage and should they like line up with each other i don't know i guess we'll see i don't know how big it should be either why a garage because we can <laughs> we've been playing a lot of the sims 4 where garages don't exist so today where we have a garage and and the possibility is there i say we go for it you know um, we have cars. <laughs> if we- if we have the option, we should take advantage of it in this game, huh? That's kind of what I'm thinking, at least. Um, yeah, The Sims 3 has cars, yeah. Um. Should we do, like, something like that? I bet this could be cute. And then we could have, like, a- a front porch. Maybe I could have, like, a wraparound porch. You know? That could be cute. Like maybe get like a front door or something. I don't know. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Annabelle from a fellow chaotic kitty. <laughs> Thank you so much. It's so funny how cats get in this like slight chaos mode, you know? I mean, I'm not complaining, Snap. If you want to be in chaos mode today, you go for it, my friend. Do whatever you need to do, but... Okay, that could be cute, right? Um... Am I gonna be able to accomplish this, um... Oh dear. We'll see if I'm able to successfully accomplish this, um... In the way that I want to. I need to get some columns. The wrap- I don't- I haven't done a wraparound porch in The Sims 3 in a long time, so... Please hold. Please hold. You have an extremely lazy cat and a cat that doesn't ever settle? Really? Cats are so funny. The way they're like that. Okay. Um... Oh my god, this is so annoying. The columns in The Sims 3 are weird, too. You see how they don't place like they do in The Sims 4? Okay. That'll be nice. It's gonna be big, too. The building noises are interesting. They are funny, aren't they? I feel like it's probably kind of, like, shocking if you've never played The Sims 3 before and you hear these noises for the first time. You're probably like, what the heck? Um, but, yeah, this is, uh... It's certainly interesting. Um, should we do it like that, or does that... It's a very wide house. It's not that cute, to be honest. I guess we'll see how it goes. Maybe a porch instead of brick foundation? Oh, we haven't picked the colors yet, mystery. Um, the brick is just the default. Does that make sense? So we, we'll, uh, we'll change it. We just haven't done it yet. Um, hi. I was just talking about you. I was- I was just describing your chaos, Snap. <laughs> we were just talking about that. <laughs> Glad you could make it back. <laughs> okay, um, 
Maybe the back could have like some sort of, oh wait, I forgot to put a foundation again. It's weird, in The Sims 3 you have to build the foundation first. You can't like add the foundation like you can in The Sims 4, you know? Um, it's, it's rather chaotic. Um, that'll be nice and big, right? We'll have plenty of space for all of our rooms. This is what I was talking about when I said she just sits here and like you can see her ears, by the way. <laughs> oh, we were just saying that too. You are nothing if not predictable, little one. You are very predictable. Um, okay. I think I might just let this be big. And then I'm probably gonna have like a slight, I wanna have like a side door of some sort that you can access like from the garage, so. I'll probably add this in too. What are we doing? Oh, we're building um, a little farmhouse for us to play with horses um, at the moment. <laughs> we really, really, really want to play um, with horses. My Sim's going to be like a farmer and stuff. Um, and so, uh, oh, that's going to really bother me. Mm -hmm. I don't know how to hide that in The Sims 3. Okay, that's fine. Can we just ignore this part and pretend it's not happening? We have like some Sims 4 trickery that we can do that I'm used to, but I don't think we can do that here. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll see. I don't know if I wanna have like a Maybe we could put, like... What if we built, like, a fake chimney? You know? Do we really want it like that? Probs not. Maybe only three wide? Or maybe it could be, like, one over this way. I don't know. But you can have a real one. Yeah, but the real chimneys, I don't really... Look, I'll show you. When you put a fireplace, it, like, gives you a chimney by default. See? But, like... You know, you can move it around move objects. You can, like, move it somewhere else, but not BB. Hold on. Move objects on. Um, with move objects, you can, like move them. I forget how you can separate them, but, um, I don't know. I don't like it. Can I just do some Sims 4 trickery instead? Look at that. Huh. Interesting half wall selections that we have in The Sims 3. Haven't really thought about these in a while. Oh! Sims 4 trickery does not apply in this situation. Okay. Perhaps not. Perhaps that was a bad idea. Why? Let's just leave it. Who cares? Just ignore. It'll be fine. Just leave the weird walls. <laughs> I like them, it's fine. Get rid of the dormer and pull the roof through. I think I like the dormer though. Um, we might be able to do like, what are you doing? We could maybe have like, Does this kind of roof have an overhang? Yeah, that's fine. That fixes it. I actually kind of like that, to be honest. We could probably have it on that side too. Okay, everything's fine, everyone. 
All is well and fixed. It's fine. Okay. And then you need to go from like there over to here. Nope, too wide. Oops. No, you must go from like there over to here. Is that too wide too? Nope, hold on. I guess I could just use this one. Okay. There! It is prepared. It looks beautiful. <laughs> okay, and then we can worry about, um, do the donation rewards come after the fundraiser? Sorry, I haven't those before. Oh, no, don't worry. It's a, that's a good question. So we have donation rewards, um, on Tiltify. Um, so there's a, a whole bunch of them. Uh, so let's, let's talk through some of the examples. Number one, um, on Tiltify, you can redeem a thing to get um, like a letter from me with a card and a sticker. The card looks like this, and then it says you're one in a melon, like one in a million. Um, and then it, you'll get a couple stickers from me um, in the mail, which is kind of cute. Um, I'm gonna send those starting closer to the end of May. Um, you can also redeem an Animal Crossing amiibo, same thing, I'll send it closer to the end of May, you'll get this card. Um, the CC, I email to you every day after I get off stream, but I have to do it manually. So if you redeemed it just now, you won't get it till I'm offline. It might go to your spam folder, check there. Um, and the Discord role is also manual. My mods do it after we get offline every day too, in the Discord. So, um, okay, there we go. Saved game, all is well. Everything's fine. <laughs> um, but hopefully that makes sense. Uh, they're all manual though, so. Um, <laughs> Can we be selected as a random? I let you carry, um, so I don't have like every Animal Crossing amiibo, obviously. Um, so I tell people like you can, um, in the thingy, if you click on it, it says like, what amiibo preference do you have? Like, is there a villager you love? Do you love the cats? Like, um, tell me like your, essentially tell me your Animal Crossing amiibo preference. But obviously, um, I don't have them all, so um, it's it's not possible for me to like meet every request, but if I have it, I'll send it to you. So it's helpful if you redeem that, if you tell me like, I really love the cats, but I hate the sheep, you know? So that way I know to not send you a sheep if you don't want a sheep, um, if that makes sense. Um, so you can, uh, you can redeem that on the Tiltify page. So um, hopefully that makes sense. So the panel ball is not glitch in The Sims 3? Well, it's not that they don't, I guess, yeah, I guess you could say they don't glitch in The Sims 3. The thing about the panel balls in The Sims 3 is that they're not like auto panels like The Sims 4 ones are. So um, you can like individually place them and then you don't need to worry about it as much. <laughs> Because in The Sims 4, it tries to place it on its own, and it doesn't do a very good job of it. Um, which is kind of annoying, but... Oh well. Yeah, The Sims 4 does it automatically, and doesn't do the best job of doing it automatically. Um, oh, thank you for doing that, Pipper. Yeah, this is the thing. Um, Gmail thinks that the CC emails that I'm sending out are spam. And I understand why Gmail thinks that, because I am sending hundreds of them um, with like a random, seemingly random attachment. So like, I, I can see why Gmail might be like, this is spam, except it's not spam. It's me manually sending out hundreds of emails, giving people who donated to charity their Sims custom content. So it's really inconvenient that they're marking them all as spam. Cause now I have people every day being like, I didn't get the CC and then I have to be like, well, did you check spam? And then they're like, oh, it was in there. And then I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's a whole thing. <laughs> but Gmail is not being very nice to me about it. So I'm not, I'm not Google's biggest fan at the moment. Um, but yeah, if you, if you should have gotten the email already, check spam. <laughs> Might be in there. <laughs> okay, I like the white. I think that's kind of pretty. What do you guys think? And we'll change the color of the roof too, probably. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Um, do I wanna paint the rest of this foundation? Probably. 
No, I think I might paint the porch's foundation separately. And have the porch be different than the rest of it. Yeah? Yeah? Haven't heard you read out donations for a while. Monster Chuck, that's because nobody donated in about a couple minutes. <laughs> I appreciate you um, checking just in case I was forgetting, but <laughs> no, it's just because there hasn't been donations in about 10 minutes or so. <laughs> um, if you would like to donate to St. Jude, there is a link in the chat, um, but don't feel like you have to. <laughs> okay, I'm saving again. I'm saving again. The sudden snow surprised you? Oh yeah, um, it's winter time in my save. Oops, oops. Okay. Also, hi Hope, I see you have arrived for your horse day. Um, oops, wrong place. Are you so excited? Hope is our resident horse girl um, in this community. Actually, I have an important question. How many of you are horse girls? Let us know. <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be a horse girl? <laughs> Excellent. Oh, that's not right. Don't do that. I don't know if I would consider myself to be a horse girl, but I'm so happy for those of you who are. Oh, paint. Okay. And then we'll pick a different roof color. Maybe like, eh. We need like a brown shingled roof in The Sims 4, don't we? Um, that would be so useful. Oh, the black metal roof might actually be kind of good. Ah! Oh, jump scare. <laughs> jump scare, jump scare, jump scare. Um... Oh, the green is kind of cute. The green might be nice. What do you guys think about the green? Um... I don't know. Oh, Steph, so if you redeemed- if you donated $150, um, it only redeems the Tiltify reward that you redeem. So, um, I've been sending out the emails to people that donated $5 and, like, redeemed the $5 thingy. Um, because I can only send five, 500 emails a day, and so I can't send it to, like, people that didn't physically redeem the thingy, because otherwise there would be too many in a day to send. Um, and so if you, if you donated over $5 and you didn't redeem the thingy because you forgot, or you just did it separately, um, you can fill out a form that my mods can link for you in chat, and then give me your email that way, and then I can send it to you. Does that make sense? Um, so hopefully you understand, but it's, there's uh, more emails than I can send if I were to send them to everyone just automatically. That's why I, we have to do the redemption separately. It's kind of confusing, but um, that's how it works. Okay, so that's the main house building. And then I wanted to build, I don't really know what the barn should look like. Because I wanted to build like a barn sort of vibe. Um, let me see if I can figure this out. I wanted to build like a barn sort of vibe. Um, and then put the horses in it. Oh, you can't do a different colored roof. That's gonna be annoying. Um, but, oh. Oh my God, that is annoying. I kind of wanted it to be like, I don't think you can do this like you can in The Sims 4. I don't... My cat is watching this, like, so intently right now. Um, if you want horses in there, the main area needs to be at least two floors tall. Oh, really? The whole thing? Really? That's pretty cringe. The barn doors are also super tall. I haven't built a barn in so long. <laughs> okay, um. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! That's cool.
Whoa. I can make that work. I don't really care what it looks like from the outside, to be honest. I'm more concerned about how it looks from the inside, so. The problem is you can't paint the roof a different color than the other building, so. Um, if we're gonna have it be like a red barn, it's gonna have a green roof. You think it placed backwards, the door? Oh yeah, probably. Um, I like that. White barn is very classic right now, okay. Let's listen to Hope, because Hope is an expert um, on horses. I love the wooden bits on the inside that looks so good. Oh my god, it's so laggy. You have to keep going in and out of build mode so it lags less. Okay. Yeah, you have to keep all the roofs the exact same color. It kind of sucks. It's not really ideal, but... The Sims 4 has... Um, obviously, people complain about The Sims 4 not having the color wheel and stuff, which is like so valid. But The Sims 4 and The Sims 3 are are good for different reasons. A lot of the tools that you're like super accustomed to in The Sims 4 also, like being able to pick up and move um, buildings and stuff, uh, you can't do that. You can't add a foundation after you already built the building. So like if I wanted to go back and add a foundation to the, the main house now, it'd be too late. Like I already built it, so you can't add it anymore. Um, so... <laughs> That kind of sucks. Um, you also can't save in build mode, which kind of sucks. Um, lots of uh, things there um, that are worse. <laughs> so pros and cons, obviously. But um, <laughs> um, anyway, anyway. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness, maybe my donation dashboard was just broken. Because, um, I- I'm seeing a lot of donations that I didn't see before, so... Maybe it was just broken and I didn't know. I refreshed and they're all there. Oh, that's my bad, I'm sorry. Annabelle, Sarah, um, Svetlana, in honor of your dad, Hillary, um, Joy, Greece with the $150, um, A with the $5, Leo, Lisa, um, in honor of your father, Florence, Sophie, Justice, um, Samantha, <laughs> Amicable Summer, Who, and Panda, just simmering, Anonymous, Katie, Avery, Kayla, Nella, Mads, um, Joy, uh, Tenebris, Horse Girly, Leafy, Izzy, Phoenix, Nora, Thomas, oh, I'm so sorry, Purple Doritos, <laughs> Fairy, Cats, uh, Deanna, Jasmine, Donald, Sushi, Hillary, Lily, K Kira, Amy, Amanda, Nostalgic, Lucas, Priscilla, Savannah, and Haley with $150, thank you all so much, I don't know how that happened. My dashboard was just totally broken, and I didn't even realize. Um, but thank you so much for your donations to St. Jude. Hopefully it like keeps, I hope I don't have to refresh it constantly because this dashboard usually auto refreshes. So if it's broken, we're gonna be having a big problem. Okay, so we have the barn there. And then I was picturing that we might put like, you know how um, the, the place, like, from pets normally has, um, the... Oh, that's kind of cute, actually. Whoa, I kind of like that. Um, but you know how the pets place has, like, the, the, I mean, the cats, or the, whatever, the thingy where you take the horses normally that I can't remember the name of? Whatever it's called. <laughs> um, you know how it's got, like, um kind of like a fenced in run area and then like jumps in the middle. The racing thingy. Um, that's what I wanna try to recreate here in my own backyard. Um, so, just a stable. No, I mean like the racing part. Like there's like a big loop. Um, that's what I'm referring to. Just an arena, is that, is that all it's called? Okay, well that's easy then. <laughs> Never mind, it's just called an arena. <laughs> that's fine. Um, 
Oh no, I'm floating. Um. What do you think about that? Is that cool? I just passed $187,000 raised for St. Jude. <laughs> Sim Simi with $100. Thank you so much. Um, I love you so much, friend. Cassie, um, Mooney, thank you, thank you, thank you. Jenny with $150. Um, Haley with $150. Thank you, everybody, so much for your donations to St. Jude. Sincerely, thank you so much. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Should we, like, have part of it be open, then? Like, maybe we could open this part over here so it's easy for you to get in and out of it, and we can have, like, a place for you to walk, like a dirt path or something. I don't know. Won't the horse run away? No, they'll, they'll stay. Um, it'll be fine. Um, are there matching gates to this fence? Do the gates work, like for horses cuz oh that's cute I don't think the horse can walk through that that is nice though what the heck is that did I break it It has a horse emblem on it, so maybe. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to say. Um, maybe I could put you, like, over there. I don't know. I would like that, probably. Delete them like a fence? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Gemma, Macy, Sim Simmy, thank you for those donations to St. Jude also. Horses can get through gates, you say. Okay. That's good. Um, oh my god, it's being so laggy. Ugh. Um, I feel like I want to have another... I don't know. Maybe I should have move objects off. For now. <laughs> Maybe that would be for the best. <laughs> okay, um, if you were a horse, you would be in the horse stuff. No. If you were the horse stuff, you would be under pets, horses. Okay. Um, here's some stacked hay bales. Um, we also have... These cute stables. I'll probably put two of them. Oh my god, that's gonna be amazing. I know you can barely see, but just take my word for it. It's gonna be amazing, okay? Love. Love. <laughs> I like that. Um, and then, so, what I had seen and thought was so cool um, is that in the, like, the real one of these that exists in the world, they have, like, the course and it goes around the edges i don't know if i can put it here because it's right by the the door when did sims get horses we've had horses in the sims 3 for ages um maybe i could just put it like over here and have them start there that could be fine right and they'll go around it I think that should be okay. Right? I think so. Ellie, thank you for the donation to St. Jude also. Thank you so much, you guys. I really appreciate it so much. Yeah, and we're gonna have the jumps in the middle, exactly. Um, oh, this is good. This is water. I can put some of that over here. It's maybe a little too close to the fence. Isn't that how it looks in the other one, though? I take your word for it. Um, the horse girl in me is so happy right now. <laughs> wow, 
Whoa! Big jump. We might want to start with some little jumps. Um, little jump. Amateur's gate jump. Oh, that like attaches to that one. That's cool. Whoa. How much is that? Oh, that's not that bad. It's a duck obstacle. <laughs> um, we can't really put another one up there. It's too big. Emerald's gaze. Oh, here's a hitching post. Maybe I can put that over here. Maybe I could put it like outside of it for some reason. I don't know. Maybe instead of the pool one, I could do like, whoa. Should we do like, <gasps> whoa. The small one connects? I didn't, it doesn't look like the small one connects to anything. But maybe we could put like, oh, the small one connects to the small one, connects to the small one again, and the small one, and the small one. What if we did it like that as our starting point? Let's just have four. Yeah? Are these like horse activities? Yeah, they're like jumps for them and stuff. The small one is for training, if that's what we need. We don't have any horses yet, so we're gonna have to train. <laughs> we can always change it once we have some more money. And, and I meant once we have some more, whoa! Once we have some more, um, like, skill as well. It's what we're gonna have to do, so. We'll go horse shopping next time we play. <laughs> Uh, this is kind of cool. Paint it with sand? Yeah, we'll do that for sure. Um, was that ring? I don't know. <laughs> is it a jump also? I'm not sure. Inferno hoop. Nothing more exciting than jumping through a hoop on fire. Next time, when we have more skill, I'll, I'll replace them with a hoop that's on fire. How about that? Guys, we don't have- we currently don't have any horse skills. Literally zero. We don't even have a horse. So we should be a little bit careful about, um, you know, the choices that we make. Because <laughs> we don't want to, um... We don't want to overdo it before we have any skills. Otherwise, we'll die. And that would be bad, I think. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it would be good. Don't sell yourself short, Simsy. Your horse will be amazing. Yeah, but my horse is not amazing yet. And, and maybe fire should be avoided before our horse becomes amazing. You know? Whoa, that one's big. Okay. Um, I have some little trees. Oh, that's cute too. How many trees should we put? Um, yes, good point, Jen. A lot of companies match donations for their employees. Um, and yours is on the list. That's awesome, Jen. That's awesome. Definitely, definitely worth looking into. When you donate, there'll be like a thing at the end that says, does your employee match? And it like helps walk you through how to do it as well. Uh, but even if you didn't do that, definitely check with your company wherever you work um, and see if they, if they do any employee matching because obviously like make them pay, <laughs> you know? Uh, a lot of places, a, a lot of workplaces will match donations though. So definitely worth looking into. Um, Okay, so should we do like gritty sand? 
Do you think that would be good for our pathway for the horses? I'd like to think so. I feel like that would be nice. Um, Alana, thank you for the $25 to say Jude too. Do horses like sand? Hard to say. <laughs> um, it looks like dirt though. And that's all that really matters, I feel like. As long as it looks dirt-like, it'll be fine. Sand is classic footing. Oh, I'm so glad my resident horse expert Hope is here. What would we do without her? Um, that's not looking very, like, cute, is it? No, it's not. I guess it simply won't though, huh? It's too big. Hope posted a helpful diagram in mod games if you want a visual. Eh? This is a types of horse jumps graphic. Triple bar spread jumps, wider with gradual levels and easy jump. Gates, made to appear solid and more difficult. Shrubs and flowers are placed between jumps to help the horse's depth perception and fill gaps in the ring. All obstacles have a vertical element that the horse sees with the highest pole either a rail or plank. The first jumps are easier to help build the horse's confidence. Wooden blocks are easily removable. Judges watch all the jumps. <laughs> Thank you, Hope. I really don't know a single thing about um, horse jumps. I gotta be honest, um, this is not an area of my personal expertise, so it's kind of interesting to learn about. Yeah, I don't like how this terrain paint looks. <laughs> I feel like ill prepared to. Um, terrain paint successfully. I want this to look like a track. Like they've been running on it, and so it's all track-like. You know? Eh! Even the softest brush is like, icky. That's blue! Could do an inner portion that's a different color. Yeah, I guess. We have an opacity slider. It's just not that effective, is it? Hmm. Light dirt. Can I put this dirt along the whole outside edge? No, because that looks bad. Okay. Yeah, the terrain paint's not that good. I think that, like, there... I feel like theirs is kind of, um... Oh my god, it's like so dark. Would the track have grass in real life? I don't know. The other one, the one in The Sims 3, like the actual horse ranch, this is what it looks like. I've got a picture of it pulled up so I can see. This is what the real one looks like, the official one. So that's my frame of reference. I don't know. Horse places are mostly dirt in real life. Okay, what if we painted the whole thing with gritty sand and then we did the track with dirt on top of the gritty sand? What do you guys think about that? I feel like that would be probably good. 
so the whole thing is sandy and then we just make the parts where it's like heavy traffic we'll make it dirtier where will the horses graze well um they don't in here they have the rest of the lot for that so you liked the grass oh dear I'm getting a lot of mixed signals right now. Um, I don't know. Dirt. I think I like how that looks. I like how it gives kind of a more defined area to it as well. So I think I like it. My cat peanut with the $20 to say dude for your mom. Um, who's been cancer free since September 2022. That's amazing news. Um, and Bailey, who says, because I'm a horse girl and I'm tired of acting like I'm not. <laughs> and for your brother in law, Bailey, thank you so much. Um, okay, I think once we get some more dirt on this, it'll. Oh, God. Ugly. We can kind of like add some depth to underneath the jumps. And then we could do like. The pathway kind of like how we had it before we can make like the track that they run and then have that be like darker because they've been running on top of it you know um okay i don't know if i like that <laughs> it's like the dirt is ugly it's an ugly texture. Honest, it's ugly. I didn't realize how much, like, the, how, how little of an opacity slider there is in The Sims 3. Like, I don't really know how to make this lighter. Aside from, like, maybe going back over it with the... With the gritty sand. But even then, is it actually worth it to do that? I don't know. Some parts are darker than others. I think it's just gonna have to do. It makes it look all blotchy, but whatever. <laughs> I think that we're like, I think that we're kind of overthinking this a little bit too much. I feel like it's honestly fine and it will be totally fine. Like, um, and it like, it wouldn't be perfectly even in real life anyway, right? So I feel like that makes sense. <sighs> okay. Um, I will probably do a cute staircase. Ew. Let's make it white. Uh, my elderly foster cat, Madison, who says I've been fostering an elderly cat for two months and today she got an adoption request. Oh my goodness, Madison, that's amazing. Um, I say as I'm speaking to the cat, <laughs> Madison, that's amazing. <laughs> no, that really is absolutely amazing news. I'm really glad to hear that. Um, how exciting. Um, okay, I like that, the white, I think. Um, for your dad, Paula, thank you for that donation to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. You are all so, so, so generous. Um, okay, I'm gonna get rid of these columns for a sec. I'm gonna come back and redo them. I don't really like them though. So I just had placed them because I wanted to have like an obvious place that I could put. Dan got another prismatic shard from killing a slime in the low levels of the mines. He's playing Stardew Valley right now. He's gotten two prismatic shards from slimes in the regular mines. That's so rare. What the heck? Ah! I made it green by accident. Did you guys see that? That was so scary. I hate Duck Dan. I'm just being honest, that's how I feel. I feel like I hate Duck Dan. Oh, it doesn't work. 
Building in The Sims 3 is so laggy. I love The Sims 3. I love The Sims 3. But my god, is it so laggy. Okay. I was thinking about doing, um, like, basically doing something like this and having, should I do the white on the outside or should the white be on the inside of them? I like that. I think that's cute. I think that's cute. Okay. Um, let's do it like this. Ooh. I feel like, should I try and put columns? Like, this is the other bonus of The Sims 3, is that you can, um, you can pick where, like, the panels go. See, like, you can decide where it puts little lines. Why does it sound like slurping? It does sound a little bit like it's slurping, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Amberlynn, Doja, thank you for those donations to St. Jude too. Ugh. Yeah, this is the kind of thing that isn't so bad if you played The Sims 3, like when you were younger, but if this is your first time <laughs> and you've never heard that before, um, and now you're like coming in and you're hearing the game like slurp at you, it's probably kind of like, alarming. Um, so yeah, I understand where you're coming from. Okay, this is weird too about the columns and the- I typed the Sims 4 cheat. This is weird about columns too. The Sims 3, you have- to, they don't place like on the edge like they do in The Sims 4. Um, you can place them on the edge, but it doesn't do it automatically. Ooh. I want something a little bit fancier, like, oh, that is very, um, that's very, maybe what we need. Should I do like a, ew, the brick looks weird. Should I make it white too? What do you think about that? Um, Jordan with the twenty dollars to say Jude. Um, and fun ant fact about a zombie ant fungus. There's a fungus that infects ants known as zombie ant fungus. The fungus goes into the ant's brain, making the ant a zombie. The fungus controls the ant, making the ant spread the infection to other ants. And it spreads by fungus spores shooting out through the ant's head. Are you lying to me? What kind of like Last of Us nightmare is this? Is that true? It is true? Ew. What do you guys think about that? I think that's kind of cool to be honest. That's what The Last of Us was based on. Oh, was it actually based on this? Okay, well that makes sense. That's rough to be an ant, huh? Yikes. Other bugs have similar things. Oh, that freaks me out. I don't like it. Ew. Ew. I don't think I'm gonna have enough money to fully furnish the interior of this house. I guess we'll see. We might. We might. <laughs> uh, LG, uh, to your grandma, thank you for that donation to St. Jude also. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Um, ah! That's what Mother Lotus is for? I don't know if I want to do money cheats. I'll just, um, if worse comes to worst, I'll, oh. If it comes down to it, um, and I need more money, I'll just try and save up for another one of the inheritance things, I think. 
Come on, become four wives. Okay. Yay! You can get inheritance pretty easily in this game. And it's like, ah! From a lifetime reward thing and it's not that expensive. Cute, I like that, right? Yeah, there's a lifetime wish that you can get um, for inheritance and it gives you like 30,000 simoleons. You can also have um, your pets try and find you expensive gems that you can sell. All of which work very well for money earning. <laughs> um, new, thank you for the $25 to St. Jude, by the way. Thank you so much. Um, I like that. I'm feeling good about this, actually. Okay. Um, let me do some more terrain paint here. Why doesn't the grid turn on when you terrain paint? Oh, I like that. That's cute. How does this look? No, I think I'll just do like a gravel driveway. Um, okay, I wanted it to be straight and I didn't do it straight. Would you look at that? The lot's not lining up to the edge of the lot. <laughs> oh, just like The Sims 4. Doesn't that make you feel right at home? Don't you just love that? Isn't that just so nice, you guys? Amazing. I'm so glad for that. <laughs> okay. Do you like that? I think that's kind of cute, right? The pathway being like this. Just the straight line cut off right there. Yeah, perfect, isn't it? It's really, um, I really feel like it adds to the build, you know? If it lined up, it would just, it would be, it would make too much sense for it to line up. So I'm actually glad that it doesn't. I prefer it this way how it doesn't line up. <laughs> Are we just building today? Yeah, Darcia probably, because it's gonna take us a long time to get the new farm set up. Um, so I don't think we'll be able to have time to uh, play with the Sims today, just because I'm trying to get my horse set up ready. As I'm sure you understand, it's very urgent. That's perfect feel a lot better about that. Is that Stanley? <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually playing with him um, in this family or anything, but um, I've got him here because uh, I needed a sim to, to help me test out everything. So here he is. I didn't want to move my sims yet because I wasn't ready. So um, Oh, do you know what else I need to do? Is get, like, um, how do you build a roof over the stables? Oh, Lux, I learned today that if you wanted to have a roof over the stables, it has to be two stories tall. Um, I was having that problem also. I was like, why, you know, why? And chat was like, oh, you have to have two stories. They warned me before I started, so. Um, yeah, that's kind of confusing, but if you want to have a roof over the stable, it's got to be two stories. Weirdly. Okay, got a nice entrance to the garage from there. Um, I think I need to, ah! Okay, that'll be too wide so we can get a nice door. Um, okay, I think that's good. Should we do like a gravel path from here up to, no. Should it be like a gravel path from the back door to the, or what? Maybe we could do these like stones. And maybe I could have the stones go like all the way to the front of the lot. Perhaps just so it kind of like fills in 
some of this side area. I think I'd like that. Okay. I can do that. Nope. Although we don't have like a back patio. At least not a real one. I guess that's okay. Oh, only exposed terrain can be edited. Okay. No. Maybe go more like that. And then, no, it's not like... Sometimes people ask me for tips on terrain paint. And the only advice I can give you is that I literally do it like 15 times until I get it to be drawn in a way that I like it. So, um, I'm probably not the best person to be giving advice. <laughs> I just keep drawing it over and over again until I find one that I like. Um, no, I don't like that. And maybe you can go into there too. Yeah? What do you think about that? I think that to an extent, it would benefit me to stop worrying about it so much, because it doesn't matter. Maybe I'll scoot you over. I like that. Seems cute, right? Okay. That'll do. <laughs> Cassie, happy birthday! Um, dolphin fact, oh my god. Dolphins really are the worst creatures on the planet, aren't they? Evil, evil creatures. Um, Smokey the dog who says, horses have the largest eyes of any land mammal. Oh, good for them! Um, wild poos! Thank you for the donations, everybody. <laughs> that, I actually didn't know that about horses. That's kind of interesting. Um, maybe I'll, ugh! I kind of want like a sort of masonry vibe for the foundation, but as it turns out, I hate them all. <laughs> Ew. Okay. Um, no. Yeah, I didn't know that dolphins bullied each other too. That's rough. Um, what should I put here? Should I just do, like, paneling? Maybe I'll make it white paneling. And then we can try and cover it with some landscaping. I don't like it. Um... Rock and stone. Oh, here's some, like, stone-looking stone. That looks like the Sims 4 stone. Maybe we could try that, and then we'll just cover it with plants. I think that's the best we can do. I don't really know what else to... to do there. I don't know. I usually use those bushes a lot. Ooh. That looks like a useful bush. Comes in some decent sizes. Oh yeah, if there was like a pattern scale slider, that would be so good. That's a great, uh, great idea. Um, I wonder if Renesme will have more advanced, like... Um, Okay, it's being really laggy. This is my plea for you to save the game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Do you think that after, like, this Renesmee thing comes out, do you think that we'll keep calling it that? By the time that it has a real name, we'll still st be sat here, like, talking about Renesmee? The future, they called, I don't know if you guys saw it, but they announced that they're working on, like, the next generation Sims game. Um, 
and they call it Project Renee. But obviously all of us were like, Project Renee? Project Renez May? Um, so, <laughs> I wonder, um, I don't know, we'll see, I guess. I love the red flowers, actually. I think that's so cute. Um, okay. Yes, adorable. Maybe get me a smaller one. Yeah. So I can put two of them right there. We'll just get some really beautiful flowers around. You thought I was referencing my Sims 3 family? Oh yeah, um, they, I do have a Twilight themed Sims 3 family right now by accident, so. Um, I can see why you would think that I was referencing them. I wasn't. Um, okay. Let's see what we can do over here. I'll probably put some more of those big bushes over here. Um, I actually like really love that, to be honest. Um, bushes are pretty, but they're not base game. Oh, these bushes are from cats and dogs though, aren't they? Cats and dogs. These bushes are from um, this pack though, aren't they? Which is a win, I would say. Um, there's a lot of bushes in this game, actually. I don't know how many of you guys have played The Sims 3, but there's a lot of pretty bushes that are like that, that look sort of very similar. Um, maybe I'll get some rocks by that or something. I don't know. It's gonna be nice, right? I hope so. <laughs> Alonzi, thank you for the for the donation to St. Jude also. Um, okay. Let's see. I probably wanna get some more bushes kinda like around the sides of these buildings. Cause it's looking a little bit sad so why is the stream called horses cleo because um i'm building a farmhouse for horses <laughs> in the sims 3. <laughs> i'm building a big horse farm um i know you maybe just came in so you didn't see us work on this part but uh this this place is uh really strongly for horses that's why it's called horses in all caps. <laughs> These Sims are rich. Yeah, we have a decent amount of money. It's pretty easy to get a lot of money in The Sims 3, to be honest. Um, it's not so bad. Um, I like the landscaping. Okay. Um... I don't really know what to do with that, to be honest. How big is the lot? I don't know. <laughs> I don't remember. Um, unfortunately, I cannot answer this question because <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, where is the mailbox? Oh, there it is. It's giving yeehaw. You're so right. It really is giving yeehaw. As it should, to be honest. The house could be empty. As long as we have horses, we're good. You're so right. <laughs> I like how we all collectively are just like obsessed with uh, the horse stuff right now. It's like we've been daydreaming about this for a while. And we're having a great time getting to play with it. Oh, lag, 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 lag. Okay. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's super cute. Um, let's think about the everything else a little bit more. 
Um, the oldest horse lived to age 62. That's cool. Um, the average horse lifespan is 25 to 30 years. I didn't know the oldest horse was 62. That seems like a really old horse. Good for them. <sighs> okay. And place that there. Ooh. I guess I just need to get the color right, don't I? So I'll be fine. Autumn, with the $150 donation to St. Jude in honor of your stepmother um, who has had ovarian cancer. Thank you so much, Autumn. Um, and Jordan, thank you for that donation also. You were all very, very generous. Thank you so much. Um, okay. That's the right color to match. I like that. Am I Googling these things? Oh no, people are donating um, and telling me those facts. I, I'm not just like, I wasn't just like saying them. <laughs> People were donating and saying those things to me, um, if that makes sense. I, I didn't just like say it for no reason. Um, if you guys are just coming in, oh my God. We're raising money for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital for the entire month of May. Um, in fact, we're getting pretty close to $190,000 raised for St. Jude. Ah! <laughs> you and your horse share a birthday, you deadly sins? That's cool. Um, what a fun, little fun fact. Don't know when The Sims 2 stream's gonna happen? Um, I do, but I don't know if I want to talk about that yet, because, um, I might have to switch up the schedule, uh, because my, my dad might not be home because he has to, uh, go somewhere for work, so... I don't know if I should tell you what day I've planned yet, just in case it changes, because people get weird when they're like, you said you were gonna do this, and then I'm like, yeah, but that was before my schedule changed. <laughs> so uh, we're gonna play Sims 2 in the next couple weeks, though, don't worry. I'll tell you next week what the day will be exactly. Um, Taylor, Shali, who says, shark fact, sharks have never been to a McDonald's before. Oh, that sucks. Poor sharks. Thank you for uh, bringing attention to that. <laughs> oh my God. I actually can't put like more terrain pan underneath that. Oh wow, The Sims 3 is annoying. Okay. We're getting somewhere. You can't put it, the terrain paint underneath the, um, you can't put it underneath the building, so we have to be kind of careful. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it. $20 question who says, how many discords are you in? I feel like probably a lot. I don't actually know. Um, I'm in, a, I have them all like in folders. I'm in a lot of discords. To give you like some some examples, obviously I'm in like my own server. Um, we have like the Among Us server where we play games together. I'm in like all of my friends' Discord servers. Um, I have one that I was using for my charity events. I like there's even like like there's like work things like like um, I'm in that Twitch Rivals tournament this week, so there's a Twitch Rivals Discord server. So like there's all kinds of I'm in all kinds of Discord servers. <laughs> I don't actually like actively type in them all. Um, it would be too much, but um, sometimes they get used for like things like that. Remember when I did that like sponsored AT&T thing? There was two Discord servers for the AT&T sponsor that I had to be in. Um, so I like, there's all kinds of random like work type of servers that I get put in. <laughs> um, so that sort of stuff happens too. Um, but yeah, I'm in, I don't even know how many. I'm in a lot of Discord servers. Um, Poutine in honor of your neighbor, um, turtle in honor of your grandma and your best friend's mom who both beat breast cancer. Um, Mass, thank you for the kind words. Um, horse fact, horses are much taller than most humans. No way. <laughs> and Sholly with the last shark fun fact because you're at work. Shark skin feels similar to sandpaper, really? I guess I've never, I've never touched a shark before so I wouldn't know. That's interesting, I didn't know that. Um, I don't know if I like this that much, but it's gonna have to do. <laughs> Landscaping is just gonna have to be like this, I've decided. Um, 
I like it, and so therefore it can stay. Um, we have some, oh, I used to love that door. That one's three wide, so we can't do that. Oh, this is my favorite door, though. Let's do that one. And then we'll have some wood accents in the middle. Um, okay. Switch. Switch. No. I want you there. And you there. And then these two can be white. I like that, right? That's cool. And we could do the windows to match it. You're only in like four discords and even that can be too much sometimes. Yeah, I don't, I have most of them. Like I don't, I don't like actively check all of them. It's just not possible. There's a lot of ones that like I'm in for, um, like for example, there's a St. Jude play live one. Um, and like that one, uh, I don't like actively type in all the time, but it's useful for like when events like this are going on and we're fundraising, obviously. Um, so there's, I don't know, there's just a lot of Discord servers for stuff like that. Um, but it's like not the kind of thing that you're like checking every day always, you know? Um, but you still kind of like, oh, I like that window. This is one of my fave windows in this game. Should I do them like that? Oh, I'm gonna need a window that, uh-oh. I need a window that's too wide. Oh, that's too wide. It's like shuttered though. Uh, we need windows that'll fit up there. Should I open? Like these ones are open. Would they really all be open though? Which one was I looking at before? Oh, I used to love this one. Um, which one? This is the shuttered window open. Oh, I like that. I think we can do that. Okay. Let me get it down here so I can get it to be the right color. Um, don't be scared by the sounds. Oh yeah, it just sounds like that. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not mean to alarm you. That's just what the game sounds like. Um, okay, how does that look? It's just The Sims 3. Be in The Sims 3. Oh! Okay. Is it possible to lower the placing sounds? I can turn the volume down. Is it that bad? Does it really bug you that much? To me, it's nostalgic. So I kind of like it. <laughs> it's rather loud. It's bad. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Matcha, thank you for the $50 to say, Jude. Thank you so much. Um, Jilly with the, or Gilly maybe with the $25. Um, Shark Fact, who says, Shark skin is made up of tiny teeth like scales. Ooh, that's why it feels like sandpaper. Interesting. Um, the sweet sound of the late 2010s. Um, come on, are you in a place? Oh, you're gonna be too big. Hmm. I'm gonna need to find a window that is like high up enough. Oh, that's cute. High up enough that it's not going to be... I love that window, but I don't want to have flower boxes everywhere. Um, just, just doing things. Horse fact, horses' brains don't categorize things like humans do. They could see the same bucket 800 times, but if one day that bucket is upside down, it may spook them because their brain sees it as a new slash different object. Interesting. <sighs> Silly horses. Um... Yikes. That one is quite small. I wonder if I can make this work. Thought the building noise was your speaker freaking out? Oh no, sorry. No, it's just The Sims 3. 
It's just The Sims 3. I don't think those are gonna tile very nicely though. And I can't lower the roof any further. It's at its lowest. Um. Sorry, I know you guys don't like it. What do you think about that? And can I just have these be like all the way across? Oh my god. I cannot wait to turn move objects off and go inside. It looks great. Okay, I don't really like it that much, but it will simply have to do. It will simply have to do. Um... I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> I can't tell. Ah! That's so loud. It is scary. I understand if you guys have never heard this game how that might be like actually terrifying to you. I really do understand. <laughs> Okay. That'll do. Yeah, we're just, uh, some of us are just used to it. Because we used to play this game back in the day. So it sounds like home. <laughs> um, do you want to put, like... I don't like the windows on this building. I don't like it. I don't like it. Oh my goodness, this is harder than I thought it would be. Okay, back into build mode. Um, maybe we could finish the windows after we do the floor plan. Like maybe it would be better for us to do the floor plan first, so that way we've got like a an idea in mind. And then um, we can go from there. Oh my god. <laughs> the stair situation is not helping. Um, okay. Let's see. Let me actually... I would like to... Put that right there. I think. And then... There could be, like... Maybe that could be open. But... I don't know. I don't know who lives here. Oh, it's gonna be my legacy challenge family that we've been playing on Twitch. Um, they will be the ones living here um, eventually. So it'll be kind of fun. Um, I'm envisioning that perhaps This area could become like a kitchen and dining room sort of situation. I don't really know. I'm not really sure. Um, okay. I don't know if it's too political, but what if St. Jude finds a cure for cancer? Wouldn't they sell it for like a very high profit? Hashtag capitalism. No, <laughs> that's not the mission. St. <laughs> Jude has been researching, um, like obviously I think that when people think about, okay, we're gonna talk, um, hold on. I think that when people think about like the cure for cancer, you think that it's like a magic button, right? And it's gonna just fix everything. But there's so many different kinds of cancers and so many different like causes for cancer. There isn't like a one, one size fits all, one fix all cure. Like, so the kind of research that people are doing, not just St. Jude, but everywhere, um, is like research for different cutting edge treatments and things um, for different specific cancers. There isn't just like one thing that works for everything, you know? Um, and so no, the charity uh, that has been sharing their research for 60 years with the entire planet 
is not going to find the magic cure and then sell it to people. Um, <laughs> it's not a for-profit business. That's not how it works. Um, and they, they openly share all of their research now. They're not going to like find something and then keep it quiet. Their whole mission is, is finding cures and saving children. It's a nonprofit that shares their research. Um, so that's not how that's gonna work. <laughs> um, hopefully you understand. There's been some wacky people typing in my chat the last two days. There is a, I think they were a kid, so I shouldn't make fun of them, but there was a, a kid yesterday that was like yelling at me. This is how it started. Yesterday, I, t I was telling chat about how much my dad's chemo pills cost. They're $30,000 for 21 pills. I was telling chat about that and like talking about the ridiculous cost of healthcare in this country. And this person was like, it's making me really mad how you're talking about how healthcare is so expensive. Nothing is free. <laughs> you have to pay for things. That's how the world works. <laughs> Why is that your response to me saying my dad's chemo costs $30,000? Think for a second, why is that your response? Why do you think that? Why, honestly, why is that your response? I wasn't even talking about it should be free. I think that, but I didn't say that. All I said was it shouldn't cost $30,000. <laughs> we need to like revisit our opinions here and think about what we're really saying. Why is that your response? <laughs> Oh, anyway, um, St. Jude is a, a nonprofit. Their goal is to help as many people as possible and also obviously find cures for these things and share that information with the world um, because they know that they can't treat everyone themselves. The goal is to make sure we can share that information with everybody so that no kid has to die when in the dawn of life, right? That's their whole thing. Um, but anyway, <laughs> hopefully you understand what we're coming from when we say that. <laughs> what about adults? What, like, what about adults? The whataboutisms on the internet, good God. Okay, so let's talk about this. We'll, we'll address it. Um, obviously, no one thinks an adult should die from cancer. <laughs> oh, my cat's there in her cat cam spot, hold on. Obviously, no one thinks an adult should die from cancer. Obviously, that's not the case. We just happen to be raising money for a children's hospital right now. Um, these two things can exist at the same time. Sick kids and sick adults are both bad. We can feel like both those things are bad at once. One does not negate the other. My dad has cancer. Do you think that because I'm raising money for a children's hospital, I don't care about my dad who has cancer? No, <laughs> I'm of the belief that research in this field benefits everyone, okay? <laughs> Um, and, and especially no child deserves to suffer like this, right? So, um, okay. Have we covered all the bases? <laughs> Have we talked it out? Let me get my cat cam on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I didn't even know she was there. How long has she been sitting there for? Oh, that's not a good angle. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. There we go. There we go. Was that a troll? I don't know. They typed the same question like five times. Maybe they just don't understand. Um. <laughs> Some people, um, there, there's a lot of like, the internet's just kind of like that with the whataboutism type stuff though, is, isn't it? So um, anyway, <laughs> we've been raising money all month for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital, a nonprofit um, that's mission is finding cures and saving children. And by the way, all the kids and families that come to St. Jude will never receive a bill for any of their treatment. So <laughs> um, yeah, Dandy, I don't normally, um, when it's like such, such troll seeming questions, I don't usually like bother responding to them, but sometimes like you wonder if maybe they actually like, don't know and then it's like should we like should we talk about it so that you can know um i'm sorry if i came across kind of petty just then i'm just you can only deal with so many things you know <laughs> before it becomes too much for you it's like after you've seen it 15 times it's like okay <laughs> you know um, it's never about just the one. It's like, okay, I'm done with this now. <laughs> okay. Um, shall we have maybe... Maybe this could be like a cute office space of some sort. And then maybe over here could be like 
the kitchen along... We could probably have like a little bathroom. Maybe the kitchen can be along these back walls. We can make it a little bit bigger, perhaps. Um, there's like a little office space. The kitchen can be along this back wall with like an island and then we can do a dining table here. I don't know. I think that might be nice. I don't know. <laughs> Madam Supreme, uh, Kay. Um, Thank you so much uh, for, for your donation and for your kind words. Gideon, um, <laughs> uh, Winnie, just Jess, thank you all for the donations also. Um, okay, um, let's see. I guess, do we, here's, okay, I guess here's my question. Do we want to have it be like a kind of closed off floor plan? Um, maybe the living room can be over here. And maybe this could be like... Um, lots of hallway. I kind of want to have like an entrance from, this is like where you're going to come in from the outside. So I kind of like the hall though, to be honest. I think hallways are kind of nice. Maybe we could open this up so that there's like columns on the sides of it. And then that's the living room. I like that. I think that's cool. Yay. Um, thank you so much, Nathan, for saying that. I really appreciate that. Um, you were all very kind to me. <laughs> Elizabeth, for your grandma who just got diagnosed. Elizabeth, thank you so much for that donation. I'm so sorry. Um, I know everyone, um, Everyone here probably knows someone who's been affected by cancer, and I'm I'm so sorry, you guys, that that is something that you've had to experience. I mean, my God, it just it breaks my heart. Um, so thank you all so much for helping us to do this. Um, okay, let's see. Are we gonna do it like? Is it? Uh... Is this going to be like a mud room? I don't really know how I want to split this up. This is what's kind of throwing me is I know that I want to have like, there's going to be a door that comes in from the patio, like right here. I don't think I want a laundry room because I don't think I want to do laundry. But I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't, I feel like it would, it would be like realistic for that to be laundry, but Snap always makes me smile. Dad, look, isn't she so cute? She's just hanging out. Um, yeah, she's really cute. Okay, here's an idea. What if, um... What if maybe, um... It came in from, like, a, like a mudroom situation into, like, a little hallway. There's a bathroom and then some sort of bedroom downstairs. That could be like the grandparents' bedroom downstairs, maybe. And this is just like a mudroom so it can have tile. I think that makes sense. Okay. I like that. And then, up, so we'll have one bedroom for the grandparents. Upstairs we need to fit... Let me get some myself some debug lights. Hold on. Um, and then... Where are my little debug friends? Hello, my little debug friends. So good to see you. You have no idea. Um, okay. Isn't that better already? These lights are debug lights in, in build or in live mode. You don't see them, um, which is kind of cool. Uh, this is a sorry the trolls suck dollar. Thank you for the dollar to St. Jude. Do you know what I will say? We've had a lot less trolls this year than we have in years prior. Um, which is really interesting actually because um, they've been on the front page a lot. So like you almost expect there to be more on the front page, but we really haven't. Um, it's not even like necessarily trolls that come because they know us. It's just like they come because um, they see you on the front page or of Twitch or whatever. Um, but we really haven't 
had to deal with that many of them, to be completely honest with you. So, um, that's good. <laughs> that's a win. Um, okay. I think that maybe these are quite big rooms, actually. It doesn't necessarily need to be, but um, maybe they can have an ensuite bathroom. This big room in the back. And then, that's a lot of bathrooms though. This is a way bigger house than I realized. So what am I thinking? Bedroom, bedroom, bathroom, bathroom. Huge bedrooms that don't need to be that big. Um. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> hey Lee, thank you for the five dollars to St. Jude. Thank you so much. Why are the donations not showing, please? Are they um I guess I did hide the alerts. Um I can put them back on. You'll see your name scroll across the top too. Um but maybe an office. We're gonna have the office downstairs. So we have an office, we have what I'm gonna consider to be the grandparents' room. Which is a little bit bigger than I feel like it maybe needs to be. Um but that's okay. Um, we'll see about that. And then let me just put like some random tile so I can kind of think this through. So we can like visualize it better. That would be a bathroom. That would be a bathroom. Um, I guess potentially. Oh, there could be like a. Jack and Jill sort of bathroom. There. Or maybe not. Maybe there could be like, maybe this is the room that needs the ensuite the most. Cause this can be the primary bedroom. And then it gives us four bedrooms upstairs. So it's a six bedroom house. Huh. For, we don't have any kids yet. <laughs> um, well, our parents will live here and then we'll have a bunch of kids. Eventually. Maybe hobby rooms. Yeah, it's like maybe this room can become like a secondary living room type of space instead of a extra bedroom and all the bedrooms can be upstairs. <laughs> that might be better. It's also got um, a lot of bathroom space or like a playroom. That's true. It could be a playroom. This is going to be a library office room. So um, anyway, um, in honor of your mom, she had cancer checkups yesterday and her chronic cancer is still stable. K-State, thank you for, for the donation and thank you for the update. Um, that's great news. Um, will this house be available to download? I, the last time di the last time that I tried to like export the, the files or whatever, my game kept crashing. So I don't really know. Oh my God, we were gonna run a daycare. <gasps> oh, that's perfect. This can be the daycare room for the babies. Cause we're gonna run a daycare, aren't we? I forgot about that. Oh, okay. That's actually so perfect. It's huge as well. Well, that's great. Um, hey, Cora, thank you so much for the donation to St. Jude, um, who says, thank you for showing me. It's awesome to stand up to the bullies. Do you know what? Um, I appreciate you saying that. <laughs> I'm glad that I can uh, help you with that. Cause Listen, I'm a lot more confident online than some of us are in real life. I, me, in real life, way less good. <laughs> I'm quite confident on my own stream though. <laughs> Rosie, for your mom. 
Um, thank you so much, Rosie, for that donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I love this. Daycare space, essential. Ew! <gasps> Guys, The Sims 3 is kind of ugly, I'm not gonna lie. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Wow. I like that that type of flooring in The Sims 4 so much that I really have a deep desire to use it here. But I can acknowledge, because um, I have eyes, I can acknowledge that it's ugly. Yeah. Um, yikes. <laughs> Um, names aren't showing just items. Up here? I see them. Um, <laughs> uh, but thank you for the donation. Um, and, and Rosie, again, thank you for the donation. You guys, we just passed $188,000 raised for Sam Tune. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um... But anyway, now they're showing. Okay, good. Maybe it was just kind of weird and glitchy sometimes. Um, we spoke it into existence, maybe. <laughs> okay, I save again. And then we shall see how it goes. She's so funny the way she's sleeping. So cute. Um, Natalie, I'm five years in remission later this year. Natalie, thank you so much. Uh, you said thanks to Saint Jude for making a world with all these kinds of celebrations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Matt, too, with the donation. Um, such a great cause. Love that you do this every year and help so many people in the process. These streams are an escape for a lot of people, so they do so much good for the world. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for saying that. Um, okay. Didn't we raise a lot last year? We did. Um, last year we raised like three hundred and forty thousand dollars for Saint Jude. Um, and it's only like been a week, <laughs> so we've got a, a long ways to go. We're still uh, still going here, which is kind of exciting. Um, okay, do you know what? I really like this house for the reason that it's so big. I feel like this is gonna be really good for us to grow into um, when we're playing with our with our Sims in here. I think that's gonna be super helpful. So I'm I'm excited about it for that reason. You know, um, it's huge. So we've got a lot of space to work with. Um, Time Crystal, who says Eurovision, ju Eurovision just finished and I need to calm down, so here I am. <laughs> Everybody's been talking about Eurovision all day. All day. Um, you need to calm down? Uh oh, what did we miss? Uh oh, uh oh. Um, okay, I'll ignore the garage for now. And we can think about all this. Oh, lag, 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 lag. The qualifications were today? Oh. No, it's not for a new Sims 3 Legacy. It is for the existing Sims 3 Legacy. But, um, they just aren't quite aged up yet. Not quite ready yet. Um, okay. Um... Am I going to finish it today? <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> I I mean, would that be nice? Yes. Does that appear to to be what's going to happen? Not looking good. Not looking good. Okay. What were we building in? Oh, this is, um, this is a world called, uh, oh, wait a minute. I need to use, like, the two wide doors everywhere. That's okay, I like them. Um, this is a world called Appaloosa Plains. It's the world that came with, um, with the pets pack. Okay. I like that, I think. This will be only a small bathroom. This is just a mudroom kind of vibe. It's how you get in and out from the outside. Okay. 
I'm gonna do no move objects once I actually start furnishing this, because move objects is cursed. Almost there. We're almost there, chat. We are almost there. Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Save. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Allie, thank you for the $25 donation to St. Jude. Um, oh, a gym is a good idea. That's a good idea. Um, yeah, we have um, outside, I wanna put like some garden stuff out there too. Um, I missed a door, did I? I'll have to look and see. Um, Anonymous for your one of a kind granddad who died last year. Thank you so much. Uh, Bianca to your father-in-law. Um, Car. That's the Finnish Eurovision guy who sings cha cha cha. I haven't seen Eurovision, um, but I am with you on that. Um, okay. Okay. I don't think I missed any doors. I did miss windows, though. So we have to go back and add them. Um, move objects off. Better. Don't want move objects right now. Also, I saw somebody ask if I would try to recreate this in The Sims 4, um, which honestly would be so fun. Here's the problem. We don't have horses in The Sims 4. <laughs> Slight issue. There is a serious lack of horses. So how are you gonna build a giant horse farm? <laughs> Sleepy aliens, happy birthday! Thank you for coming by. Um, very unfortunate. Um, this is the main, the main event, isn't it? Um, okay. Let me see. Can I, do you want to put like a fence? kind of around the front of this lot a little bit. Just for like some additional vibes. Is that like a puddle from the, what the heck? Do you like that? We could do it with dog training, that's true. <laughs> Megs for your grandpa and Bitter for your dad who is celebrating four years cancer free soon. Thank you for that donation to St. Jude. Um, okay, is my face cam frozen? Why? Hold on. Fix. Uh-oh. Oh no. Sometimes I have to close and reopen OBS. That's not, that's actually really bad. Don't look at me, I'm embarrassed. Is the cat cam still moving? Yes, the answer is yes. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't wish to close and reopen OBS. No properties available. I don't want to have to close and reopen. I don't want it to be in two VODs. Ugh. Oh no. Okay, um. Refresh the source? I did, multiple times. So, we're in an unfortunate situation right now. Hold on. Um. Aha! I fix. Okay. <laughs> I'm back. That was good. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. Um, that's actually a relief, to be honest. Um, let me move this up. Okay. It's okay, Snap can just be the streamer. Yeah, you know what? You're so right. We should just let her do it. She's good at it. Maybe I'll give myself my mailbox by the front of the house better. I like that. I think that's really cute, right? Okay. 
and then we have to put lights in the barn. Um, so here's an important qu- oh. Here's an important question. Does she leave? She looked exhausted. Why? Come here, you wanna sit with me? It's like she noticed that um, I was filming her. Come on. You knew that we were talking about you? Yeah, it's okay. You can sit up here instead. I bet that was really scary. It's a lot of pressure to be on camera, huh? <sighs> okay, do we put the same terrain paint in here as we did outside? And do we do like the same like that. She didn't want the pressure of hosting the stream. When when it seemed like maybe it was gonna have to be just a cat cam, she didn't like it. That was kind of scary. So she said, absolutely not. I I refuse to be in charge. And I understand. Okay. She is now laying across my arms, so it's a good thing I have them on the keyboard, otherwise we would not be moving them <laughs> after this. Luckily, they're already on the keyboard. Um, okay, and then... I like that, right? Just some dirt in there. That seems cool. I wonder if there's any, like, cute, um, like, wall decor type stuff from Cats and Dogs. Um, Bagels, we probably won't be able to play today, um, just because we're working so hard on the house and it's gonna take us a while to get it finished. Um, miscellaneous decor. Oh, I can't put a lot of stuff in here because there's, um, Stables. Two shoe. This is what I wanted. Stuff like that. And then maybe I could put like a... Sign. That seems kind of cute, right? I don't know. <laughs> Go see it. Thank you for the $5 to St. Jude for your mom who is battling breast cancer. Thank you for that donation also. Um, yeah, Jim, I post uh, all of this gameplay from this save on my second channel. I post like all my streams on, on my second channel called More Simsy. Um, so you can find it all on there. Oops, she almost fell off the desk. Careful. She like tried to stand up, but she put her foot off the desk. <laughs> don't fall, Snap, don't fall. Um, Okay, I post all my Sims 3 stuff and all my streams in general on my channel called More Simsy. If you are ever looking for it, you can find it there. Okay, I might use um, some of these windows. I don't know if they should be on this first floor or if I should put them on the second floor. But... All I know is, I kind of like them. I guess it should be on the second floor. I don't really want this to be a two-story building, but it has to be. That's just the only way that it works in this game. Oh, those don't even fit. Okay, you can't tell that they're not, like, even, right? Here, how about this? Yeah, do it like that. Two sets of three. Two sets of three. Um, and I'll buy another one for the other side. Um, yeah, take on Brie. I did it uh, over the weekend on Sunday, a couple days ago. Uh, we did the stream on YouTube. For the first and maybe last time ever. <laughs> no, it was good. I just, it felt really weird streaming on YouTube. I'm, I'm not a YouTube streamer. Um, all right, I like that. That feels really good to me. I am very pleased with that. Um, barn is improved upon. 
Um, it actually, I thought it went pretty well, Casey. Do you know what I realized? Guys, can I ask you a question? Those of you that were there, how fast was the chat going? Like, uh, upon your perception, how fast was the chat going? Too fast? Okay. So, from my perspective, slow. Do you know what I realized? There's two chat filters that you can change on YouTube. There's like a recommended chat filter and then like a by default chat filter or, or like the by time chat filter. I, it was on the, I didn't know this. I had like top chat on, I didn't know that. I legit did not even know that was a thing. And so I thought the chat, I was like, this is easy. The chat's going really slow. I can read everything. I had top chat on, I didn't know. And by default, it like the, um, you can turn on and off like mod, being able to see moderate moderator actions on YouTube and by default the moderator actions were off. So like my mods kept showing me before I went live like these things getting picked up by the auto mod and I was like why literally why can't I see that? It's my my channel why can't I see that? By default the dashboard chat view had moderator actions off. So I, I found that and I turned it back on but it's like YouTube is just worse. <laughs> like the chat, the, the everything about it is just like an objectively worse streaming platform. I don't know how it determines top chat. I have literally no idea. I I didn't even know that I had that on until I got off and Dan was like, the chat was going so fast. And I was like, no, it wasn't. And then he was like, uh oh, you had top chat on. And I was like, I had what on? But I didn't know. I didn't turn that on. It just was on. So how was I supposed to know? <laughs> um, no, no, Bruins, it's not just different and I'm not used to it. Like, YouTube is a worse streaming platform. Like, uh, YouTube has so many less features for streaming, it's, it's like a worse streaming platform. YouTube is a video platform that added streaming. Twitch is a streaming platform, you know? Um, but anyway, I... It was a weird experience. It was different than what I'd seen before, but, um, it has a lot less mod tools than Twitch. Um, I don't know. I, I find Twitch to be a better platform for st live streaming, you know? Obviously you can't post, um, like, YouTube videos on Twitch, but... <laughs> um, so... <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, it's turned on by default unless your channel's live streams audience is set as made for kids. Apparently the top chat thing Oh, I don't know. I hadn't even like, I, I don't know. Um, top chat filters out spam and also very short messages and the ones that are the same as others in chat. Yeah. Okay. Um, but anyway, very interesting. Very, very interesting. <laughs> I was, I didn't realize that, that I couldn't even see the whole chat then. Dan was saying how, when I was getting off and everybody was saying bye, it was like, you couldn't even see it. I did not have that experience. For me, it was not like that. But I didn't I didn't know that I had the top chat on and didn't realize. <sighs> um, but anyway, yeah, that's the thing also, I see it's really hard. Like YouTube as a streaming platform, I think is a lot harder to grow. Like it's harder for like streamers to get found on YouTube. I think that like the discoverability, which probably isn't even that good on Twitch, to be honest. Like, Twitch doesn't have, like, great discoverability, but I think that, like, it's easier to navigate to new streams on Twitch than it is on YouTube. Um, and so, like, I don't know if I would encourage a person who's just starting out to stream on YouTube, to be honest. Um, I, like, I make videos on YouTube for years. I love YouTube, but, um, I think that, um, Twitch is, like, a better streaming platform. So, and like with raids and stuff, like the community on Twitch with how they raid people when they get offline, like, um, I don't know. It's just, um, I find Twitch to be a superior streaming platform. And again, speaking as a person who I, like, I think that most people would consider me to be a YouTuber. Like, I think that when the average person thinks of Lil Simsy, they think Lil Simsy the YouTuber, not Lil Simsy the Twitch streamer. Um, cause my YouTube channel is just a lot bigger and I still think the Twitch is better for streaming. So, um, I think that like, to be honest, I would probably have more viewers and probably make, I actually don't know about that. I was going to say I might make more money streaming on YouTube, but I don't know if that's true because I have a lot of people who subscribe with Twitch prime and that's free for you, but I still get paid. And then you wouldn't be able to do that on YouTube. So I, maybe I would have less like 
subs on YouTube as I do on Twitch. Because so many people prime sub here. Um, no, you don't get money when people subscribe on YouTube, Cookie Queen. Like, Twitch subs and YouTube subs are different. Um, a Twitch sub is like, you're like paying to subscribe and you follow for free. Um, a YouTube sub is the same as like a follow on Twitch, so. Um, but, I don't know. Contract with YouTube might be better? Well, no one's offering me a contract, M, so. <laughs> YouTube has a paid membership feature. Um, but anyway, I like Twitch. I think it's a good streaming platform, so. Um, okay. I feel, oh, the colors in there are so bright. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Let's do the kitchen. Um, actually, Kat, uh, Ulrike with the donations, B and Bill, in honor of your great uncle, Bill, thank you so much, um, who had polio and donated regularly to St. Jude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, Mammy the cat as well. You're all the best. Um, so are you like a free agent? Yeah, I don't have like a contract anywhere. Um, I did have a Twitch contract for two years. Um, it expired back in October and they're not really renewing them at all right now. You know how you've seen so many people um, move to YouTube, like streamers like Ludwig and stuff? That's because from my understanding, YouTube was offering them big contracts and Twitch just wasn't like even counter offering. I could be wrong about that, but that's what I've heard from people is that like Twitch just wasn't counter offering. So people were leaving. Um, but they're not really renewing contracts like they were at the time, um, a while ago, so. Um, but, anyway. Um, they didn't renew mine, so. <laughs> I don't really mind, it doesn't matter, but. Um, anyway, speaking from experience. <laughs> um, okay. Oh wait, no, I like the gray on that. I think I want these, the cabinets themselves to be white though. Maybe we could do like a, ew, I don't like the wood on that. Maybe we could do like a painted, um, like what if it was like a, sort of sage, or maybe like a forest green sort of color. Does that paint texture look weird or is it pretty? That's kind of pretty. Um, simply, I'm pretty sure, um, from my understanding, with the way that the Twitch partner contracts work, I don't think that you're supposed to multi-stream, um, which means, like, streaming on the same place, uh, on, sorry, which means, like, streaming on, uh, more than one platform at once. I don't think that you're supposed to multi-stream under the contracts, um, and you used to not be able to stream on other platforms at all under the Twitch partner contract, but they got rid of that, um, which is a relief because that was stupid. Um, but anyway, um, <laughs> okay. Let's see, I want there to be an island. I kind of like that, right? That's cool. It's very, um, bright. <laughs> Let me put a one by one one there. Okay, I like that. I like that. Um, is the headset new? This one? No, I've had it for like, um, maybe like over a year? I don't remember when I got this. It's been a bit. <laughs> I, can, I don't have any, I don't remember the exact time that I got this headset, but I've had it for a bit. So, I don't like those upper cabinets. I don't like those upper cabinets. Should I do these? These are quite similar. Uh, Maggie with the $5 to St. Jude, thank you so much. Um, Kayla loves Facebook streams. Oh my God, don't even get me started. Facebook, absolutely under no circumstances could you ever convince me, and I'm not kidding, could you ever convince me to stream on Facebook? Um, absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know if Facebook is throwing around contracts as much anymore, but back in the day, that like even like before Twitch and YouTube were kind of like doing their little contract game and like kind of passing around <laughs> streamers almost, Facebook was doing it. And I had friends like that were getting offered 
so much money to stream on Facebook. I never got reached out to by Facebook, but I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> I had friends that were being offered, we're talking like thousands of dollars a month to stream on Facebook. And at the time, Facebook streaming platform was so new that it like, you think that it sucks now, Back then, you literally could not stream for longer than two hours at a time. Like, we've been live for two hours and nine minutes right now. It kicks you off. You literally couldn't stream for longer than two hours. There was, like, no discoverability on Facebook. It, w it was wild. So they were being, and I don't mean this in a bad way at all, but, like, Facebook was paying so much money to these people, like, these YouTubers that had gone to Facebook, and, like, nobody was watching the streams because nobody wants to watch a Facebook stream. Like, it takes, I feel like the majority of people, like, around our age are just not into Facebook, and it's not the kind of place that you would want to go to to watch gaming. It's not, like, I don't think of it as, like, a gaming place, you know? Um, and I'm pretty sure that at the time, it, like, showed... Um, it would say, like, on your, people, like, that you're friends with on Facebook could see, like, Kayla Sims is watching so-and-so play Minecraft. <laughs> As if you want your Facebook friends to know that you're watching, like, a Minecraft stream. My Facebook friends, I don't even have Facebook, but my Facebook friends don't need to know that. <laughs> and, and the chat is, like, your real name, obviously, because it's Facebook. Um, no, but you're, like, I don't want, like, we do not want them to see that. That's not information that should be shared with, like, people from high school. <laughs> that is a secret. <laughs> they don't need to know about that part. <laughs> My gaming habits are for me. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just not, I'm not a Facebook person. Um... You like, yeah, it's like you like being sort of anonymous and going under like a gamer tag on the internet and like gaming spaces. Um, I don't know. One of your friends was watching a stream and it showed me everything they commented as well. <gasps> Guys, could you literally imagine if your Facebook friends could see what you've typed in my chat today? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, it's not even that bad, but like sometimes, like the toe thing, imagine, imagine if they saw you putting a bunch of toe puns. They'd be like, why is Sarah doing that? <laughs> or just like people spamming, like, pulp, 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 pulp. <laughs> Meat wall. <gasps> no. Oh my god. <laughs> All of this stuff out of context. <laughs> You're talking about kill him, feed him to the sharks, <laughs> let him die in the fire. <laughs> oh my god. We need more graves. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. That is the last. Facebook is the absolute last place that you want people from there to be seeing your chat history. <laughs> oh, that is scary. D yeah, Daddy Winter. <gasps> Imagine if they saw you talking about Daddy Winter. That's messed up. Vladdy Daddy. When Rick said Rick rolled me daddy on stream and then everybody like said it back. Or or like how we get in these moods where we talk about Peppa Pig for like 20 minutes. Imagine if like your Facebook friends saw you send like 10 Peppa Pig related messages in a row. They'd be like, why? <laughs> why, why are they constantly talking about Peppa Pig? <laughs> Oh no. Yeah, see, that's rough. That's rough. No way. Maggie, thank you for the $5 to St. Jude, by the way. <laughs> I actually, though, honestly, kind of adore this kitchen. I'm loving this. Um, oh, and it's Facebook. So, like, that would absolutely start influencing your ads as well. You're right. You'd start getting Peppa Pig ads everywhere. Facebook, Mark would be like, this person literally always talks about Peppa Pig. Serve them some Peppa ads. 
Yeah, no, that is absolutely not what you need. Oh my gosh, that looks so cute. <gasps> Love. Wait, I can't get it to paint, like, there we go. That's pretty nice, I like the paneling. <laughs> Fire flowers, thank you for the donation to St. Jude also. If I see Peppa Pig tomorrow, I'm gonna be so upset. No, I don't blame you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> you have a Peppa Pig world in the UK? We have a Peppa Pig world in Florida too. <sighs> kind of scary. Um, I think I just want to get like a- oh, this is what I want. Love this wallpaper. I'm gonna paint this to be, um, kind of white, and then I'm gonna put tile on this part. Because I like how that looks. Tiles and mosaic. I think I used like this little tile before, in like a cute blue but we could always do it in like a cute white. Maybe lighten the grout a little. That seems nice. There are multiple Peppa Pig worlds in the UK? More than one? Really? That's horrifying. Is that really necessary? <laughs> Is that really necessary for them to do? I don't think so. I didn't think they had to do that. Maybe I should make it more creamy because the countertops are a bit creamier. Um. Okay. Yeah, I think that's really nice. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Samantha, I could not survive on Facebook stream chat. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could either. <laughs> How much do we need to raise for you to go to Peppa Pig World? I think it's like far away though. Peppa Pig World. Oh, we have three in America too. Oh, it's by- is it next to Legoland? Um... No, stop. I'm trying to get directions. How long is it gonna take me to get- TWO HOURS?! It's in Lakeland! Two hours for Peppa? Two. <laughs> I'll consider it. I'll consider it, but not strongly, only slightly, okay? Um. I want you to be like more of a true gray. I like these, I like these a lot. I think that the blue is quite cute in the bathroom, isn't it? Let's go live stream. Dad, shut up. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Take it back. Mods, mods, delete that user's message. <laughs> Dad, shh. How dare you? <laughs> Raging Josie, thank you for those donations. You wrote an essay about St. Jude today. Josie, that's amazing. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I'm scared of Peppa Pig. You guys don't understand. Maybe you do understand. I'm so, she's so scary. Like actually, I'm serious. She's like actually scary. 
genuinely, legitimately, Peppa Pig, I am afraid of her. Um. Should we do it like that? With the white tile and the blue tile? I think I like those. You're British? Oh, scary too. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> just so we're clear, just so we're clear, I did marry a British man. So when I say British people are scary, I don't mean it with offense. I mean it with offense to him. <laughs> okay. All right, the tile is fixed. Sometimes the hardest part of these is like fixing the the wall colors and stuff, you know? Um, we're getting there. Did you have a Peppa Pig themed wedding? Um, you know, I didn't. And now that I think about it, I probably should have. <laughs> Raging Bean with the three, five dollars, sorry. Who says Dancy Wancy? That's a deep cut, old, old reference. I don't, that, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the squares are lights. In live mode, look, they go away. Um, they're called debug lights. So you can't see them in live mode. Okay. Um... There's been a few deep cut recently, donation messages. It's- it's alarming to remember that a lot of you have been here for like, a really long time. <laughs> it's like, sometimes- I think about this sometimes. There are probably a lot of things about like, Dad! He said, bro, we're going to pig land? Dad! Dad, you actually cannot do this! You actually cannot do this. Oh, well, what I was going to say is there are a lot of things that like I've I've done in streams and videos, even like streams and videos that are kind of recent that like I don't always remember that well because <laughs> like I stream a lot. I make a lot of videos. So like even like my um, my legacy challenge let's play. I don't know if I could name all of the pets that I've had in it. But, like, some of you might be able to do that because you might have watched it, like, you know, two weeks ago or whatever. Um, so you might even know things about me better than I know them. <laughs> Isn't that weird? <laughs> um, it's kind of funny to think about. No, I don't know who Prune is. Unfamiliar. <sighs> Never heard of anybody named Prune. I don't know what that is. Sorry, I can't. Um, not sure about that. Well, that's kind of cute. I like the wicker table. That could be kind of cute for like a patio table, you know? Um, should we put like, maybe it should be smaller. It probably could be only like that's the wicker one that I just said I didn't want to use. Oh, this one's nice. That'll do. Um, Lord, thank you for the donations too. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Ooh. Icky. Icky, 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 icky. Better. Yeah, do that and then paint the legs white. And we'll get a rug. I have sworn to post the clip in chat every time Simsy denies the existence of Prune. Sorry, denies the existence of who? I don't remember any sort of character named Prune. Uh, I'm not really familiar with that. I don't know. Um, not really sure what you're talking about. Yeah, that's weird. Should we do like an orange color? I don't know. Rem oh! 
Remember Ashton? That was um that was the uh one of the original um that's this is like before there was prune. There was Ash. Um my dad just texted me, OMG, there is a pig world. I swear I had no clue. And he sent me a picture. Anyway, before before there was prune who I killed by accident. No, I didn't. Who's prone? Um, there was Ash, who, in my Not So Berry challenge, you're only supposed to, for one of the generations, you're only supposed to have, um, like, you aren't supposed to have twins. You're supposed to have only one baby. Um, like, you aren't supposed to have more than one kid, I should say. And I had twins, um, and I didn't want twins. It was an accident. I didn't mean to have twins. It just happened to me. Um, and so I deleted one of my Sims children. And um, basically I deleted one of my Sims children. <laughs> and then I said, who is that? Um, it was the gray gen of Not So Berry and um, yeah. So I am a pro-choice queen, but it in fact was um, the child was born. And I aged it up just so I could delete it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> For Pigland with the $25 to St. Jude. Hmm. Anyway, uh, fabrics. No, how about carpeting and rugs? Oh, I like that. What color should it be? Maybe like, one of the problems that I have with um, The Sims 3 is that when I'm given the ability to color customize everything, I like do it to such an extreme that everything is the same color. And that's, like, actually not good. You know? It's like, I, I spend every day of my life in The Sims 4 wishing that I had this level of, of control. And then I get here and I use it to make everything green. <laughs> A cool-toned burgundy? Ooh. This is more of like a, a plum. We could try and involve some plum. Maybe I'll make these chairs a little bit creamier. If we do that. Okay. <gasps> Would you say it's a pruny color? Did you just set me up? Did you just set me up? What? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I just got tricked into putting prune in my Sims build! And it actually looks good is the problem. I can't believe you did that! Huh. So it was all a lie? You didn't mean it when you said it? Sorry, I behave now, maybe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> maybe if I got like a stripier. Ooh. What if we tried to make it more, um... That's kind of prune-like. I mean... Do you think it looks like bamboo? Oh. I don't know if I like it. The wood texture on the table isn't giving- Oh, you don't like it? I thought this Peppa Pig was a dude in that game. 
Dad, this whole time you thought Peppa Pig was like a Sims character? I liked it better when you thought that. That looks really sad and small. She can be. Can I make this a different color? No. I do like them, but they're a little bit pink. I wish they were like yellow. Um, well, that's cool. Eggs? Okay. I thought you were so- Oh, you thought Peppa Pig was an Animal Crossing character? Oh, no, that's Pietro. That's Pietro. Um, Peppa Pig is- Hold on. Here we go. This is a Lil Simsy thumbnail. Um, this is <laughs> Peppa Pig. In The Sims. My friend Little Dika made me a CC version of her so my sims could wear, um, so my sims could wear a little costume and, and look like my best friend Peppa. Those pink flowers are too much, aren't they? Oh, farmhouse chic. Should we do that? I actually kind of like it. What video was that? Oh, that was, I think that was the Peppa Pig stream last year. Um, so it's on, uh, more Simsy. If you are interested in looking for it. Cute. Should I make this white or should I make it wood? I think it's a bit tall. Yeah, it is definitely a bit tall, but I almost like that it's a bit tall. It's kind of where I'm at right now. Ew! Ugly. Can you be live 24 seven? Who, me? Um, well that would be fun, <laughs> but <laughs> I do have to um, live outside of being live. You know, why The Sims 3, where's The Sims 4? Oh, we're just doing a fun special Sims 3 stream today. That's all, no special reason, just cause we can. I like The Sims 3. It's one of my faves, to be honest. Um, Simsy is actually a human being. Hard to say. <laughs> Hard to say. Okay. I'm feeling better about this. One thing that we do need to get still is like pet bowls. Um, Maybe I can make this more coppery toned, I don't know. We need to get like pet bowls and... No, you can't size things up and down in The Sims 3, no. Um, that would be nice. <laughs> but unfortunately, uh, you cannot size things up and down in this game. The Sims 4 and The Sims 3 build modes are, are sort of both fun for like different reasons, you know? Um, and they both allow a really cool level of detail and creativity, um, also just in different reasons and ways. A lot of the, like, there's a, there's a significant number of like quality of life improvements in The Sims 4 uh, that just make build mode a lot more like physically manageable. Like without it, um, Build mode is extremely frustrating in the 
Sims 3. Um, there's a lot of stuff that it's kind of lacking. Should we get a phone? Oh my god. Yeah. I love that. Back in the olden days, before iPhones, they had these. <laughs> Peppa Pietro Pig! Thank you for the donation! Um, C with the- with the dollar who says, one dollar for always talking about the most random things while you're on the front page! Oh my god, you're so right. Um, <laughs> we do get into some, uh, let's say rather interesting topics while we were on the front page. I used this deep fryer before for a while and it was actually extremely annoying because my sims literally would not stop using it. It was like super bugged. And it, it like almost needed to be tuned or something. You know, kind of like how um, in The Sims 4, they get like with the, um, with the, what's it called? The ice cream machine from Cool Kitchen. Um, they're just weird about it and they don't do anything else. Or like the grills. And they just don't stop using them. It's kind of like that. It's really annoying. I want to keep these eggs. Cute. <laughs> Why do I have that? Um, cute. Ah, the landline, a near extinct creature, they say. Paper towels. Maybe I could put you like, ah! Oh my God, so annoying. So annoying, so annoying, so annoying, so annoying, so annoying, so annoying, okay. Oh, is that the closest you can put it to it? Okay. That's fine. Oh, do you know what I used to love? Oh my god, it's so laggy! <laughs> okay, how about this? What if I put the chicken thing, like, over here? And the paper towel there? Then we save. Good. Good. All right. <sighs> Everything's fine. Oh yeah, um, our, our Twitch audience, I think that people think of us as, be, like, of my audience being very young. Especially not on Twitch, I don't think that's the case at all. There's obviously kids that come in from time to time, um, but like most of you that are here are- don't tell me how old you are, we try to avoid it, but there's not little ones here. <laughs> um, they're, they're not- they're not young, like people assume. Um, so. Okay. Um... Little cat picture, that's cute. Octopus? Oh, sorry. Uh-oh. Now I'm yawning. That's no good. You can't really put stuff, like, close together in this game in the same ways that you can, like, in The Sims 4. Oh my god, the thank the mods. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. When you were nine, you wrote, a, you wrote a story where Peppa Pig died? As a child, you were writing stories about Peppa dying? You were ahead of your time. Always hating the pig. Icon, legend. <laughs> As you should, keep it up. <laughs> okay, let me think about curtains too. Curtains are hard uh, in The Sims 3. You know how it's hard to find curtains that like fit stuff right in The Sims 4? It's even worse than The Sims 3. Um. I use those a lot. They're just a little bit low. So they're not like quite... Those aren't long enough. Maybe I just do no curtains. Um. Okay, let me think about another picture. Oh, that could be cute. <gasps> Horses! 
Yes. <laughs> Venus, thank you for the $40 donation to St. Jude. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Is The Sims 3 still viable? Yeah, you can get The Sims 3 on Origin or on Steam. Uh, whatever is preferred for you. Um, but yeah, it's still, it's still able to be purchased. Indeed it is. I like this dog thing. Why can't you get The Sims 2? Um, they stopped selling The Sims 2. I don't remember the specific science, okay? But the problem is something to do with they lost the rights to some sort of encoder. Um, and so they can't sell The Sims 2 anymore. And that's why it's still on the Mac version is still available, but like a small version of it on Mac, um, because they uh, it, like the Mac version doesn't use it. Video codec, there you go. They lost the rights to some sort of video codec. It, the Sims 2 came out so long ago, um, so that's why. <laughs> um, hey, Lanny, thank you for that donation to Saint Jude. Also, thank you so much. Um, Rodrigo, we have an Among Us stream planned for a couple weeks from now, don't worry. Um, and Max, in memory of your grandfather, thank you so much. Um, okay. Um, I think this living space will do. Should we decorate the, um, this is gonna be the area that we're gonna do our, um, what's it called? This area is meant to be for our kids play area because we're gonna have a daycare that we're gonna run at home like a daycare career so this is gonna be like the daycare career section um so it's gotta be really cute i'm gonna make it fish themed the butterflies are kind of cute too but they're a little bit more chaotic than i want too chaotic she says as she looks at this floor <laughs> ducks Sports, space, fish. I wanted fish. Fish was my dream. <laughs> I love The Sims 3. I'm having so much fun right now. Um, okay, maybe I can make this blue a little bit more like... Um, Maybe we could try and make it a little bit more similar to one of the teal colors. You know? The square shapes are debug lights, believe it or not. Um, they're uh, lights that you can access from debug in the game. Um, so they're, they're basically like free lights. Um, that work quite well, in my opinion. Um, let me paint all of these the same. Okay, so you need to be like true orange. You need to be like true yellow. And you need to be like bright, oh. Maybe it should be red still. Is that like totally ugly? Why does that fabric look like that? <gasps> Whatever, I think that's probably fine. The green is a little bit You know, maybe that's better. Okay, let's try that. What do you guys think about that? It's very bright, but I like it. It's gonna be for a daycare room. It's allowed to be bright. Um, Ashley, thank you for the $5 to St. Jude for the kids. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, you guys. We're almost at $189,000 rates. We're getting like really close to 200,000. I cannot believe that. Um, it hurts my eyes a little. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. I'll put some like rugs on top of it and there'll be furniture. So it'll help to, um, you know, it'll help to 
help slow it down. Let's just say that. It's really bright. <laughs> It's cursed, it's cursed. Hi, Ashley, by the way, it's good to see you. Um, okay, you, <laughs> wait, you said it's your first Twitch streams. Um, I'm really glad that uh, that you're enjoying it. Welcome in. All aboard the dollar train, choo-choo with the dollar. Different Leah uh, with $150 in memory of a family friend who lost their cancer battle. Thank you so much, Leah, with that donation. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I think I will probably get a couple cribs just because I feel like it might be useful to have them nap in there, but probably not. I probably won't actually have them nap in there. Um, okay. You know, that person who suggested a dollar train maybe had the right idea. If every person who's here right now donated just one dollar, imagine how much- ah! Sorry, that was really bright. Imagine how much money we would raise, is what I was going to say. And then I scared myself, sorry. It was really bright. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh. Also really bright. I like it though. Look, if the room can't be chaotic, then what else are you gonna get to do? I like that shade of green, that's nice. Oh, that hurts my eyes too. Whoa. <laughs> Charlie with the dollar who says the sharks are back. It's almost like a threat. The sharks are back? Should we be worried? <laughs> See, this is perfect. It matches so well. Don't you just love it? For the dollar train, toe night, justice for prune, oh no. <laughs> I, I asked for a dollar train, I cursed it. Gee, Anonymous, thank you for the donations to St. Jude too. Um, oh, I love this playpen item. It's so cute. There's like a, I like this, but there's, oh yeah, there's like a castle one. Should we try and use the castle? Shark castle. <laughs> Charlie, dollar train, thank you for the donations. Um, Shark castle. Yes. Don't like the wood. Do not like the wood. Okay, now make the wood white. And then make the red brighter. Whoa. Um, should it be like all red? Wait, did that not change it? What the heck? Oh, maybe this should be blue. What do you guys think about that? Like a slightly more bluish, so it blends in with the walls and stuff. I don't know. Um, pulp, Bob, Chomp, Alley. Um, Dollar Train, Prune, thank you all, Jade, Shark with Braces, Liz, Cat, Macklemore is my father, for my father Macklemore, thank you, Headbugs, <laughs> Nala the Husky, thank you for the donations, <laughs> Liz, did I miss something, Pinky, uh, Eva, Shawley, who says JK sharks are gone because they got summoned at work, Charlie, thank you all so much, <laughs> Kay, thank you, thank you as well, I don't know. Guys, I have a serious question. Also, I do not have enough money to move here. Um, my serious question is, is Macklemore problematic? I don't know anything about him. Macklemore is my father says yes. Okay, well, you probably know. <laughs> Sarah, Donut, Anna, Lizzie, Snail, thank you for the donations to St. Jude. Uh, guys, we just passed $189,000 raised for St. Jude. What's going on? DJ with the $500 donation. Uh, Eli and Tori, Drew, Kay, uh, Kayana, thank you all so much. <laughs> what the heck, Lintz? <laughs> thank you. Um, Fun fact, sharks, unfortunately, do not know how to play the piano. How do you know, though? 
You don't know that. Maybe they can. There's no way to know for sure. They might be able to. <laughs> Thank you for the donation. Um, should I make this like a wooden toy box? I think I like that. Wooden toy box. What is this bedroom? Oh, it's actually, it's not a bedroom. Um, this room is for us to use for when we have the, um, the daycare kids here. It's gonna be the daycare room, not a bedroom. Um, Sarah, Noel, Pope, Laura, with the donations. Haley, on behalf of Mark, Adam, and Kayla, the bestest friends in the world. That's really sweet. Shay, too. Um, piano playing shark. <laughs> um, thank you for the donation. Oh my goodness. See, the sharks can play the piano. That person just, there's a shark right here. I told you so. Um, I can't center that perfectly. I actually think it's kind of iconic though. Um, Haley with the dollar, Alexa. Oh my God, thank you all so much. Um, let me pick this, make it white. Um, okay, move objects on, okay. Um, that's centered better, yeah? I like that. There is move objects in The Sims 3. I'm just trying not to use it too much because, um, I find it kind of makes it hard to, um, ensure that everything is not weird and buggy, you know? So there is move objects, I just don't really find myself using it constantly. Um, okay. <laughs> Appreciate your hard work, Kayla Arden! Dollar Trade, thank you all for the donations. Thank you so much. Okay. Um, maybe if we had... I think that this could probably just stay, like, in the middle of the room, to be honest. Or I guess I could scoot it over for now, but... Realistically, the Sims are probably gonna use this and like scoot around the whole house. Um, so we don't need to like put it anywhere specifically. Um, oh, there is a changing table, yes. Maybe I'll get that as the last thing. Um, that'll be good. Changing table over here in the corner. Perfect. Um, Perfect. Maud, April, um, thank you so much. Maud, in honor of your grandma and all those strong kids, thank you so much. I like how the scent amount is very consistently, like like chat pointed out, the scents are very consistently staying at uh, 69, which is, uh, thank you, chat. <laughs> Iconic. Okay, that's pretty good. I think that we should be able to reach that. I think. Right? That should be fine. Um, elephant fact. Um, it's a common myth that elephants are actually really small, when in fact, people are just looking at them from far away. <laughs> You're so right. <laughs> Cashly, who wore your cool cats against cool cats against cancer t-shirt this weekend? That's awesome. Um, you guys are all so generous. Thank you so much. Um, okay. Um, Ashley, who says pennies for prune with the donation. Thank you all. All right, what other like little decor things could we maybe get? I feel like, oh, yes. Um, I don't know if this should be like placed directly above this thingy, but maybe we can put some shelves. And that seems like a good amount of space for us to start off with. That should be fine. Um, make it even! Macklemore is my father who says I honestly don't know anything about Macklemore. Oh, okay. Um, anonymous with the donation as well. <laughs> what is this build for? Oh, we've been, um, we're playing like a Sims 3 Legacy right now and we are about to start the next generation. And so, um, the next gen is gonna run a, run a home daycare and also be super into horses. 
Um, and so that is the plan. I've got like a barn and horse stuff out here. And then we have, this is the daycare room. So that's the first of our like skill stuff, you know? Um, okay, to be honest, I think I might get a different staircase because I really don't like that one very much. Um, I want like a more even toned wood staircase. That's better. That is way better. Yeah, I feel better about that already. Okay. Um, you've never played The Sims, but this looks fun. Oh, this is one of the older Sims games. This is The Sims 3. Um, I personally have very strong, positive opinions about The Sims 3. I will say that it's it's an old game now. So if you're going to play The Sims, you should probably play The Sims 4 first. <laughs> um, the Sims 4 also is free to play. So if you're interested in like playing The Sims 4 for the first time, um, if you're feeling a little bit inspired and you're like, I kind of want to play Sims 4, um, you can, because The Sims 4 is free. So, um, okay. Um, let's see. Beautiful. That looks nice. My camera froze again. Ah, I look ugly. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Okay, don't look. It's big, but don't look, okay? Don't look. Don't look. Don't look. Okay. Why is my camera freezing all of a sudden? <laughs> Talia, um, thank you for the donation. Um, Princely, you got a raise since our last charity stream. That's amazing, Princely. Thank you for the huge donation to St. Jude. Um, and Shadow, um, who says, Sharks may not be able to play piano, but sea lions can play video games. Is that true? Amazing. Honestly, amazing. I looked, I'm sorry. <gasps> Do you know what can play video games? Me? Hope, really? Could it be a cable? Maybe. I'll have to check. It's weird that it's happening today. It's never happened before. Well, when I record tomorrow, I'm gonna have to make sure I'm paying attention then. Cause imagine, I don't usually look at like the camera when I'm recording. At least you guys are, like I wouldn't have seen that if you didn't tell me. Um, Cause I'm not like staring at my camera. So tomorrow when I'm recording, I have to make sure I'm keep checking because if I don't check, the camera's just gonna be frozen for the whole video. <laughs> and that would be really embarrassing. Tomatoes are disgusting, 2012. Christine, Christine, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes, close your eyes. Christine, close your eyes. Don't look, don't look. <laughs> Let me out of, Mrs. Tomato is furious right now. <laughs> oh no. I googled it and sea lions actually can play video games. Really? Wow, good for them. That's amazing news. I'm so happy for them, truly. Honestly, I am, that's great. <laughs> um, if I put these like all the way, yeah, you can still see a bit of a stripe, so. Maybe I could like, Let's just do something really simple like that. And then we can get like a nice entryway table or something. Um, end tables perhaps? Oh, I remember when Supernatural came out. I remember being so obsessed with the, cause there's not really a lot of these like long tables in The Sims 3. I remember being so excited about these supernatural ones. And now we have like loads in The Sims 4. Tomatoes, yummy, correct. Yucky, get banned. Whoa. Little bit of uh, Simsy mod bias showing through here, I'm seeing. Um, guys, if you vote that tomatoes are yucky, you won't get banned, probably. I... Okay, here's the thing. What I'm about to tell you is my deepest, darkest secret, okay? But I, I like like a tomato sauce, okay? Are you gonna catch me just like eating a tomato? Mm-mm, mm-mm. 
That's disgusting. Raw tomato? Disgusting. And I eat pretty much any vegetable. Before you say tomatoes are fruit, not socially. <laughs> I eat pretty much any vegetable. Tomatoes and eggplant, I cannot do. I just can't. A raw tomato and an eggplant. Ugh. No, not even in a salad. I can't. I just can't eat a tomato. I really, there's something about the texture of tomatoes that I can't eat. And I really don't like the vibes of eggplant either. Yuck, 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 yuck. How about cherry tomatoes? Same thing. Gross. <laughs> Charlie, what color should you paint your nails? Ooh, I just did mine purple. I don't know. I feel very Twitch inspired. I had like neon green last week. Um, and when I was on a walk, my neighbor stopped me and she said, oh, I like those. And then I was like, oh, thank you. But I didn't understand what she was talking about. And then she goes, I don't really paint my nails bright colors like that. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but she said it in kind of a weird way where I was like, oh. <laughs> she was like, I wouldn't do that, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I would. I think it's fun. This one is, um, this is the nail polish from, uh, the Julian Solomita Hala Taco collab. It's called I'm Live, this color. And I am, in fact, live right now. So. <laughs> One time on a flight back from the UK, um, they didn't have like a normal uh, veggie option on the plane. <laughs> and so they brought me, and I'm absolutely dead serious about this, by the way. They brought me a like a little bowl of cherry tomatoes and a tiny bit of salad dressing. <laughs> they literally brought me, it was like tomatoes. <laughs> It was, there were a bunch of cherry tomatoes in a bowl, and that was it. <laughs> I think that they did have a veggie option, but it got run out or something. I don't know. It's, these flights are weird. It was on, like, it was on a different airline than I usually fly. I think it was on, like, Norwegian Airlines or something, too. I don't remember specifically. It was a couple, few years ago. It was pre-COVID. But, um, at least they tried. <laughs> but... Anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, okay, I'm really actually liking this layout that we've got so far. I like this house. Um, that happened to you once too? Yeah, I sort of expect it, to be honest, on flights and stuff, um, so it wasn't like so bad. Um, but it did make me giggle. I remember being like, this is hilarious. I can't wait to tell people about this when I get home. <laughs> oh my God, I forgot that in The Sims 3, the umbrellas were separate. Ooh, I don't need it obviously, because this table doesn't really need an umbrella, but that's actually kind of cool. Is there like a wicker chair? Wicker whims chair. Is this store content? What are you? No. 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 Yes, okay, it's store content. So maybe if you see a store content item that maybe looks like it could be a wicker chair. No. Turn in your last final! That's so exciting! Congratulations! I'm not proud of this final paper, but I did it and I'm graduating. Yay! Listen, Bestie. Who needs to be proud? You need to be done. That's what matters. And you did it. So be proud of yourself. Oh! This will work. Perfect is the enemy of done. Exactly. Exactly. Um, you made it. And you should be proud of yourself. Okay. 
Oh my god, it takes so long to build in The Sims 3. Because <laughs> it's like, the lag delays everything you're trying to do so much. Yeah, done is better than perfect. And by your- by the end, listen. By the end, life is hard, and- and you just- you just want to be done with school. And- and that's okay. You made it. And you should be proud of yourself. That's all that matters. Um, anyway, tomatoes do not, in fact, enjoy eating humans, especially tiny little Sims streamers. I hope not. Um, and Teresa flex it totally again. Thank you for the donations. Oh, yeah, I would, I would actually prefer to not be eaten by a tomato. That's my preference. I don't know about you guys, but that would not be ideal. Okay. Let me grab this porch torch. You grew up with stories about being eaten by tomatoes. Wait, is that a thing? Oh, that makes sense. I've never heard that before. If it's like actually a thing, that makes loads of sense. And really explains why someone would say that. <laughs> I've never heard that story before. Interesting. Well, we probably shouldn't, we probably shouldn't go around spreading rumors about tomatoes eating people. Um, okay. Do you know what? I'm actually extremely excited about this patio space. We have a lot of porch, so we're gonna be able to put a lot of cute furniture out here. Thank you, I appreciate you not slandering my family, says Christine. <laughs> Listen, Christine, I wouldn't get your hopes up too much, because just because I haven't done it now doesn't mean I won't do it later. I'll keep my tomato opinions. Should we do like, that's cute. Should we do like some lounge chairs? They're undercover, but might be kind of nice. Although I probably shouldn't spend too much money on the patio because I haven't furnished the house yet. Never mind, I should stop. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Let's- let's not get too far ahead of ourselves here. Oh no. Oh my god! 23,000. 20,000! 10,000! I think this one is designed to go above a fireplace. Hold on. Um, Milo, I have a fun joke for you. I, do you like vegetables? Because I love you from my head to my- tomatoes. I read that wrong. <laughs> I love you from my head, tomatoes. To- to my toes. To my- get it? Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Tom anyway. <laughs> I'll stop now. <laughs> um, is there like a wider fire? <laughs> I'm falling apart. That one actually looked kind of cute. Should we use it? Whoa. That- Excuse me. How did I do that? How did you manage to mess it up that badly? Leave me alone! <laughs> Leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Okay, um, how big's the TV in the other house? Oh, not this big. This is a nice TV. That one was rough? Yeah, it was. Anyway. <laughs> um, actually, you guys, I just noticed we're almost at $190,000 raised for St. Jude. We're, like, this close. Um, should I use this? Um, maybe make you like a deeper blue. That's kind of cute. Maybe this room could be like blue themed. Oh no, don't do that. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get it out of the way so I can paint it. 
Can you be like a, maybe it could be like a dark blue as well. We could kind of like do a dark bluey gray color in the, oh my God. Okay. Oh, I like that. I think that's really beautiful. Right? Okay, pretty. I like it with that rug too. The rug's a little small, but that's okay. Um, let's see. I want my favorite couch, please. Thank you. <laughs> Anonymous, thank you for the dollar to St. Jude also. Thank you, thank you. And then this one, adorable. And then we can get like a really cute little coffee table of sorts. This is gonna be pretty. Um, I'm excited about it. Do I think anyone's ever built a house based off their Sims creation? I think people, um, I don't know about building like a, a full real life house based off The Sims, but I think that people certainly use The Sims as inspiration when it comes to deciding things in their houses. Like, um, you know, when you're trying to figure out, like when you're moving into a new apartment or something and you're trying to figure out like, where am I gonna put the bed? Like where, what wall is it gonna go on? Like you, some people build, build it in The Sims and then try and um, decide, you know? Um, that's, I think that happens a lot. I don't know about people like actually designing like an architect, a real life house in The Sims though. <laughs> um, okay. Um, let's see. I like that. I think that I'll try and make these couches maybe a little bit, um, maybe we could go for like a, Kind of a, we could try and use the blue color like the walls have. That might be kind of nice. I don't know if it's too much or not. We'll see, I guess. You bought a house last year and you fully designed your house in The Sims. Oh yeah, when I bought a house, I like totally used The Sims to figure out what I wanted to do with it. I'm so with you on that. Um, okay. Oh yeah, don't worry, Cozy. It does, it, it is confusing. Yeah, that St. Jude message in the chat um, is actually a bot, believe it or not. Um, St. Jude made a bot, like an official one for people that are fundraising to be able to use. Um, and it, it is not a human, it's a bot. Um, oh wait, I didn't mean to do that. Oh shoot. Um, I feel like I want it to be I don't know, should I just do like a more creamy color instead? There's like a sort of yellowy, oh God. I don't know if I want like a yellow sofa though. Oh, maybe. That's brown, <laughs> but maybe we could use the brown. I don't hate that. That's pretty realistic. I don't know. I don't know. Fanny, one of your friends died from leukemia when he was only 13. Thank you for that donation in honor of him. Um, Charlie too with the donation. Thank you all so much. You think lighter? I don't know, it feels, it felt so bright in here, but maybe it should have been lighter, I don't know. Yeah, when we move here, we are absolutely gonna have to do some like sneaky stuff to try, whoa. <gasps> That's cool. I know it's like kind of modern looking. Maybe if it were all white, it would blend in better. But yeah, I was gonna say when we move in here, we're gonna absolutely have to figure out some sort of like um, different way to, uh, earn some extra money before we come, because we can't afford this yet. I like that bookshelf wall. That's cool. 
It's okay. We can get an additional 30,000 from inheritance. So we'll do that. Um, Simsy, are we going to talk about the double clips in your vids? <laughs> okay, I think this aggressive, this message is kind of aggressive. Um, so sometimes when Dan is editing, especially when we're recording and uploading same day, um, he'll like miss me repeating myself once or twice. Um, it's really okay. If that was a donation, yeah. <laughs> they donated $25 to St. Jude though, so it's okay. Uh, but it's kind of mean to like point out mistakes and stuff. Obviously it's not on purpose, it happens sometimes. I, mo I, I post seven videos a week, so. It's okay. Things happen, stuff gets missed, you know? <laughs> Obviously I repeat myself a lot when I'm recording. Um, but anyway, it's not a big deal, it's okay. Obviously it's not ideal, but mistakes happen, so. Um, it adds to the charm. See, that's a nice way of looking at it. <laughs> um, no, it's not, obviously it's not on purpose. It's just, you know, mistakes happen, so. It's okay. All is well. Massage table, whoa. Chicken coop, whoa. I probably shouldn't use that. I don't have a place for it better. When people point it out like that, it makes me feel really self-conscious though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it does make me feel really self-conscious when it gets like pointed out. Um, okay. Um, I don't know. Do I want to just use like a base game? I just want like a base game chess table. It's maybe just this one. Wouldn't be a Simsy build without a chess table. Um, okay. Ah, cannot change style wire. You can, and you will. Um, you always thought it was a creative choice? Well, there you go, it's on purpose. <laughs> That's better. There, it's intentional. <laughs> lag, 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 lag. Oh my God. Um, okay. Um, I don't want to talk about it anymore, because now I feel sad. <laughs> this is stressing me out. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Um, lag, lag, lag. It's the creative style. Creative style has a hard time. Oh, I can't even close out of it. Oh. That's good. Okay. Um... Can you place on here? Place it there though? Yes, thank you. Very beautiful. Um, okay. I like that. And then, what else does it need? Are we using packs for this? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this isn't a build that I'm like uh, building to share or anything. This is a build that I'm making for me to use um, in my own Let's Play, so. There's actually a significant number of pack content in this one. <laughs> is it gonna be on the gallery? Oh, The Sims 3 doesn't really have a gallery in the sense that The Sims 4 does. Um, there's this thing called The Sims 3 Exchange, um, where you can share stuff. But I must tell you, I have had some serious trouble recently with the exchange. Whenever I've tried to like export whatever or whatever to put stuff up there, it like literally breaks my game. Like it's been like crashing my game. So I don't know if I'll be able to share this anywhere. Um, it's it's more of just like a hee hee, this is fun kind of situation, um, and and less a hee hee, I'm gonna share this because The Sims Three is rough, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, uh, okay. Let's see. Um... I don't know. Maybe should we decorate the bathrooms quickly? Yeah, we're gonna play Animal Crossing tomorrow morning, yeah. Um, is it legal for someone to commission someone to build a Sims house? Yeah. I don't see why it would- wouldn't be. Um... 
We have some expensive toilets in the old house, but I might not be able to afford them here. Um, okay. Um, I get asked about that sometimes, but I'm never gonna do that. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna stream in the morning tomorrow, so at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, Chad, is the plan. Um, would you mind telling us a little bit about St. Jude? Uh, now is a great time to talk a little bit about St. Jude, yeah, absolutely. Um, while I'm trying to wait for this creative style stuff to load. <laughs> um, so in case you guys aren't familiar, St. Jude is a children's research- Ah! Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's frozen. Oh my god. St. Jude is a children's research hospital here in the U.S. Um, that's early for West Coast. Yeah, I stream in the morning every Wednesday, though. Um, it's a children's research hospital, um, here in the U.S. And, um, basically they, their mission is finding cures and saving children. So what that means is, obviously they're a research hospital. Um, so they, they're doing a lot of research on a lot of, uh, really horrible diseases that children face. Obviously things like childhood cancer, um, but also among other things, they're doing a lot of research on like sickle cell um, and some things like that. Um, and they have been for a long time. Um, and a lot of the kids that come to St. Jude obviously um, have uh, some really horrible diseases, which is why they're going to a research hospital like St. Jude, um, so that St. Jude can help to find cures for these things. Um, they're also a nonprofit, so they're entirely funded by donors, um, by people like us, and um, they use that money to care for the kids because no child who comes to St. Jude, their families will never receive a bill for anything. Anything. So like, obviously treatment, which is unbelievably horrifyingly expensive, um, the St. Jude kids don't have to pay for that. Um, but also things like travel, because a lot of people travel pretty far. This isn't really uncommon either, it's not just a St. Jude thing, but a lot of times people have to travel pretty far um, to go to hospitals like this. Um, and so people come from near and far to Memphis to go to St. Jude. Uh, and when that's happening, they obviously have to pay for flights sometimes, gas, um, housing in Memphis, because if you're kid is going to be in the hospital for a few months at a time, you need somewhere to stay while you're there. Um, St. Jude puts families up uh, while they're there so they have a place to be while their kids are being treated. Um, and that all comes from donors like you, people like you that donate $189,000 to St. Jude covers the cost of those treatments, but also the cost of research um, to help find cures for these things. And th that, that research is going to be shared everywhere with the whole world because this is sort of a, a team effort, right? Um, we're all trying to work together to find cures for these things, so. Anyway, St. Jude is pretty cool. Um, they mean a lot to me. There's a lot of really uh, wonderful things about St. Jude that I think a lot of people don't realize. Um, like for example, uh, they bring the kids around in like little red wagons. <laughs> Instead of using wheelchairs, a lot of them have like little red wagons they bring them around in, um, which is really, really cute. Uh, they have a lot of activities that go on at the hospital as well. Um, because obviously a lot of these kids are there for a really long time. Um, and St. Jude tries their best to make sure they can still have a childhood while they're there. Um, and they try and make it fun to the best of their ability. They have some really cool play areas and like some pretty cool, they had, they just built this new like, um, almost like a science lab, but for the kids to play in. Um, and so they can like use microscopes and things. Um, a lot of the St. Jude patients come out of St. Jude saying like, I want to be a doctor when I grow up. Um, and so it's pretty cool how they have like, this like new cool play space where they can sort of do that and like experiment with it and things. Um, they even have like cooking classes, they do all kinds of art and stuff together. Um, so they do a lot to make sure the kids can, um, I don't know, still have a childhood while they're there. Even the older kids, like they have a St. Jude prom for the high schoolers. Um, they, they do like graduation stuff and everything with the older kids too, um, which is just really nice. A lot of the kids that come out of St. Jude have like really fond memories of their time there despite how sick they were and how horrible it was. A lot of them come out of it having really fond memories um, of like friends they've made and and their amazing doctors and nurses and stuff um, and also of the cool things they got to do while they were there. So um, it's a pretty cool place. They, they do a lot to make the, the most out of a pretty awful situation. So I really appreciate them for that. Um, but anyway, we've raised a lot of money for them together too. <laughs> Uh, bring back the Edwardian counters from The Sims 3, Kate, uh, in honor of her childhood friend, Summer, who asked, oh my god, don't even get me started about this. How do you feel about the Maddie Healy and Taylor Swift rumors? Do you want to know how I feel? Sick. <laughs> I don't want to think about it. <laughs> la 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 la. Please don't. <laughs> also, Haven, thank you for the 
donation to St. Jude also. Ew. <laughs> I pretend it does not exist. I pretend I do not see it. I don't want to... Anyway. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> what an what an interesting conversation we've had here today, huh, chat? Um, but yeah, long story short, St. Jude means a lot to me. Um, they do a lot of good. Um, and I don't know how many of you guys know this. I know I keep, I'm like saying it every day, but um, my dad has cancer. That's part of why this isn't so important to me is because um, after seeing like what my family has gone through, it is so beyond horrifying to me to think of these little kids having to do that. Um, I don't know how much you guys uh, know about like how ca cancer treatments are and stuff, um, but it's really hard. It's really, really hard on you. Um, it's absolutely unimaginably horrible. And it, it makes me feel like sick to my stomach thinking of these little ones having to go through that. Um, and so it means a lot to me that St. Jude is doing this to help those kids and do anything in their power to make it easier for them and their families because it, no one deserves to have to go through that. So um, thank you for helping me do this. <laughs> um, thank you, thank you, thank you, Cal, for that donation um, in honor of your friend again. Um, I really appreciate you. It is horrifying how expensive healthcare is. It's absolutely horrifying. Um, and Celery, thank you. Thank you all so much for being here today, you guys. It's just been, it's been cool. <laughs> We're almost at $190,000 raise. I'm trying to really quickly see if we can finish a couple of these bathrooms so that we're a little bit better off when we start next time. Um, but it's taking me longer than I expected it would, so... Please hold as I try and complete my silly little bathroom mission here. <laughs> um, I'm gonna replace the tile. Jordan, thank you for the $150 donation. Um, Mist, who's celebrating as you pass your apprenticeship today with a distinction. That's amazing. Thank you for the $25 as well. Thank you so much. You used to love this corner shower. Oh my God, me too. I still love this corner shower. I would like to have a thing like this in The Sims 4, to be honest. Um, I think it's kind of cool. Um, I quite like it. Isn't that nice? Guys, we're so close to $190,000 raised. <laughs> I just want to try and finish the majority of the downstairs before we leave because that way we'll be like in a way better position for um, next time we stream this. We'll actually feel like we've made progress, you know? Um, oh, I don't like that that sink has gold. Do they all have gold? Yucky. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Um... Can you take this and put it on here? Thank you. Um, Zephyrus with the $25 donation for your nephew is having a biopsy tomorrow. Thank you so much for the donation. I am sending so much love to your family. I cannot even imagine. Um, and tr dollar trade to 190K. Thank you for that donation too. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. We are really close to 190,000. Huh? Crystal Kitty too. Thank you so much. What the heck? <laughs> Samantha loves car cinematic universe. I have a car if you would like to see. Oh no. Is this what I saw in the Discord earlier before I went live? No, this is another one. Oh good god. Samantha of Cars Cinematic Universe fame. Uh guys, we just passed $190,000 for Saint Jude. Samantha has just drawn Car Pietro. I don't know what I was expecting to see, but it wasn't this. It wasn't this. <laughs> it's kind of cute, to be honest. Pietro is my best friend in Animal Crossing. And also slightly my worst enemy, depending on the day. Um, <laughs> can we see Kari Perry? Oh my god, let me scroll up. Samantha also made, uh, today I saw this before I went live, uh, Kari Perry sweet treats. <laughs> so thank you samantha really honestly you're carrying right now it's truly amazing what you have created um and i think pretty soon we'll probably get off stream here um i hope you guys had fun today i just love the sims 3 like so much the sims 3 is one of my most favorite games ever 
Um, so I hope that you enjoy it too. Um, I'm having fun with our house. It's gonna be pretty good when we're done. It looks cool with the icicles right now, doesn't it? The winter makes it look beautiful. And we'll have like our little garage that I haven't fixed yet. We'll have our little horses. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So anyway, thank you for hanging out tonight. Um, here's the 90k with the with the five dollars Coco with the $25 on behalf of your 15 year old Chihuahua who's a three-year cancer survivor. That's amazing Coco um, I was gonna say say hi to the dog for me, but I don't know if the dog would care <laughs> Well say hi anyway for me <laughs> um, My cat snap is gonna be 15 really soon um, She turns 15 in June. I was gonna say there she is, but she's not there anymore. Is she? She's been hanging out with us tonight, but she's not there right now. Anyway, tomorrow, we stream in the morning on Wednesdays. So we'll be here tomorrow morning, kind of early, um, at 9 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. Um, and we're going to do some villager hunting for a while tomorrow during the day. Um, we're going to be looking for Wart Jr. in Animal Crossing. You might have seen me go live for, like, literally 45 minutes earlier. And that's because I was... Um, trying to kick a villager off my island so that I could have an empty slot for tomorrow our hunt. Um, our villager hunts are pretty fun. We do this thing where we play bingo while we do it. Um, basically, I'm going to be going to a lot of mystery islands in Animal Crossing trying to find a certain little frog that looks like a wart. Um, and while we're hunting, we play bingo. So you can like click a link and it generates you a card. And then if I find like, I don't know, Annalise on an island and you've got Annalise on your card, you can cross it off. So it makes it kind of fun. There's not like a prize. It's just fun to do bingo. <laughs> it's just fun to play. And, and I bought two Switches to give away tomorrow. Like two Nintendo Switches to give away tomorrow. Um, so we'll do that tomorrow as well. I'll explain more how that works tomorrow once we actually start. But um, yeah. Yay! <laughs> it should be fun. And then on Thursday, um, we're going to finish the build that we started in Not So Very Yesterday. Um, and then we're going to play Fall Guys with chat. On Friday, I got invited to a Fall Guys Twitch Rivals tournament. Oh my. So here's the deal about this. Twitch Rivals is like Twitch's official esports like thing. And they're doing a Fall Guys Twitch Rivals tournament. And they invited me to it. <laughs> so it's like, we've done a couple Fall Guys tournaments that are like smaller, that were hosted by like a charity. This one's hosted by Twitch. Yeah, Toby, I'll put the bingo cards in chat, so it'll be easy to get them. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna, um, <laughs> uh, we're gonna play the Fall Guys tournament on Friday. Uh, I do not expect to win. To be honest, I expect to come in last place. But here's the thing. It's not about the prize. It's about the fun. It's about the friends we made along the way. <laughs> So, <laughs> it's about the journey, okay? And sure, there's a prize pool. People will win money. Will we win money? No. Absolutely not. There's, um, the way that the tournament works, you earn one point per every person on your team who has made it into the final round, and you earn bonus points if you win the round. We're not gonna win a round. That's not gonna happen. And last time we did a tournament like this, same way, same same stats. We got to the final round like twice. We got like two points. Meanwhile, the winning teams, they're in the final every time, all four of them. So they get like four points each round. <laughs> we got two points. There's 10 rounds. So I just want to warn you right now, this is loser's POV. Literally, the stream commentator last time came into our call and was like, we've not seen much of you guys in the final. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and you won't. <laughs> but look, look, there's people that play in these tournaments that are like actually Fall Guys people. They're like fall guys, people. But somebody has to lose. Oh, what is that? Oh, a different song is played. My Sims 2 soundtrack ended. Um, somebody has to lose and it'll be me. I'll take it. You know, that's fine. I'll lose. <laughs> I'm not even that bad at fall guys. It's just that like when you're in a lobby full of people who are really good at fall guys, 
Well, then too bad. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> We'll just we'll just be there. It'll be fun. There's like a winner's bracket and a loser's bracket too. So even when we lose we get to keep playing So that's good <laughs> But anyway, that's gonna be dr. Glue on Rochella and it was going to be Maggie equippy But Maggie has a school thing on Friday, so she can't make it anymore. So um, Dan's gonna take her place um but that's the plan. And we will play Among Us. We have Among Us scheduled. We, we're planning to play Among Us um, on the 26th, on Friday the 26th. So it's a, kind of a couple weeks away. Um, but that was just that we, we usually ask everybody in the Discord, like, what Friday works best for you all? And then we, like, vote for which one's best. And it's hard because you got to find a time that works for, like, 15 people, you know? Um, but anyway, imagine the Simmers winning Fall Guys. We won't win Fall Guys. We just won't. And that's okay. We don't expect to win. It's all about the journey. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go see who all is live. Um, and we'll go find somebody to rate. Thank you for hanging out tonight. I love The Sims 3. It's like my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, Des with the $20 to St. Jude and Sean. Thank you so much. We raised $190,000. Um, and I'm gonna go and raid. <gasps> Oh my god, my friend, oh my god, my friend Athena. Oh, okay, you guys might know Athena because we've rated her every year, like during play live season and stuff. Um, when I saw her, we, she was there at St. Jude uh, like a week ago when I went to see the campus and stuff. Um, and I was telling her, I was like, you gotta play The Sims. You gotta play The Sims. The Sims is free now. You gotta play The Sims. And she was like, fine, fine, I'll play Sims. She's playing Sims right now. Oh my goodness. You guys have to be nice to her though, okay? She's new, but she's playing The Sims 4. It looks like she bought packs. She's like, she's like got cottage living happening. So we're gonna go raid Athena. Um, she is also raising money for St. Jude. She's amazing. She's so fun. You're gonna love her stream. Um, <laughs> be nice, be nice. She's playing The Sims 4. Um, hopefully you enjoy her stream. She does a lot of fun stuff too. She plays a lot of Disney Dreamlight Valley as well. Um, which is a game that I really love also. Um, but I love The Sims, and you love The Sims, and I love Athena, and you should go say hi to her. She also has, like, the most amazing raid video. You, she'll probably play it for you. Um, she has just, like, fun music that she makes for her stream that she plays. You'll just, you'll like her. So go say hi, um, and I will catch you all tomorrow because we're going to play some Animal Crossing. And don't, don't force her to, like, kill her Sims or anything. Just, you know, be gentle. If she, like, has a baby get taken away, be gentle. It happens to the best of us, okay? It happens. <laughs> anyway, say hi to Athena and I'll see you all later, all right? All right, bye! <laughs>